I think today we might get really, really far. We'll see. We've been on this challenge for a while. Hello, VOD channel viewers. I'm a little bit tired today, but hopefully my energy kicks up a little bit as we get into this challenge. Hopefully it doesn't cost me. But if you are on the VOD channel and you are watching this, I appreciate you. You always get a head start before chat actually shows up here. Because we have to wait for that alert to go out. Uh, if you skipped the last one, maybe you've missed a whole lot. We're still doing the Iron Man challenge. At the very end of the last VOD, if you missed it, I would definitely go back and watch it because we had an incredibly close call with a bear. It almost ended the entire run. How are we doing, chat? Good to see you guys. I was just, I was updating the VOD channel just in case anybody skipped and ended up on this one. Uh, but we're in Riften today. We're continuing the exact same challenge from before. I'm a little bit tired today. I don't really know what's going on. I don't know why I'm so exhausted. I didn't sleep great, but I feel okay for the most part. You're trying to do yard work? Lieutenant Dan will be here for a little bit. You got time to finish your yard work. Um, but I think the goal today is hang out in Riften for Thank a little bit. Time, I think I want to hang out here. Let's go. It's my Twitch baby. Sly Panda. It's about time you had the Twitch baby. What are we naming them? Um... I think I want to hang out in Riften a little bit today. Given the stressful nature of how last stream ended, I don't know if anybody saw it or not. The bears, there was a lot going on. <laughs> it was terrifying. Uh, but I'm actually just excited to sort of increase our characters. You know what we could do? We could try to complete Balaman's quest and get married. Maybe we'll do that, but we're going to hang out in Riften a little bit today because on this side of the map, we're close to the Ebony Mine. Remember, exclamation point Iron Man. If anybody comes in late and they are a bit confused at what we're doing, but I think today we're going to get into it fairly quickly. I just I also have to make sure that my speed run timer works properly, even though it's not a speed run. You should do a challenge that involves you attempting to bring Rufus to each of the cities in Skyrim to give him a piece of bread. So the challenge is that you have to move him only using shouts. <laughs> that would be funny as hell. How am I feeling about the holiday? Oh, that's right. It's 420. It's 420. Uh, so yesterday I uh, went to the dispensary and I was like, why is there... A bunch of gates set up outside like they were waiting for a huge line and the line was going out the door I'm like what is what is happening why is this place jammed then i go inside and they were like setting up decorations and it finally hit me like oh that's right the the 420 big chungus um happy meme day holiday uh is tomorrow so great timing Favorite part of Juve streams is when he says it's Juve in time, then Juve's all over the enemies. Well, yeah, uh, I do that all the time. It's a common occurrence over here. <clears throat> okay, did I start my recording back up? Am I recording? Oh, we are. Okay, we're getting back into it. Yeah, welcome to the 420 stream. I didn't realize that uh, I had that responsibility on my shoulders today. Uh, I'm not partaking uh, right now, but if you are partaking in the holiday chat, we are very happy to have you on this wonderful holiday. Is my timer going to be? Hold on, Mr. Green Screen, you're leaking. Do your job. Also, I brought the uh, comfy jacket back. I haven't had the comfy jacket on stream in forever. Smoke on stream? No. Nope. Nope, just water. Tom, dude, we're all gonna get so blazed today. Tom. First time catching a stream, Sir Schilling. Good to see you. Thank you for stopping by. Dude, come on. All right. Enough 420 nonsense. No magic pants today. No, I guess this jacket's kind of enchanted. It's got warm stats uh all right it did actually save my time i couldn't close out the speed run timer because i have no clue how to properly run one yet i'm trying to learn but at least it's working and at least we're in here one more check just to make sure we're recording 
It is my biggest fear that we'll get super far into this and I'll forget to record. Beef Squatch. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, I think we're good. I think I got everything I need. Uh, we're in Riften. We're about to be approached by you know who. Let's see where it takes us. Our next goal is to get to 50 smithing, craft ourselves Nordic carved armor, and continue just stockpiling ores and whatnot. Basically like RuneScape. But thank you again, Beef Squatch. Let's go. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you carry. Help me. Alas. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you carry. Alas. I don't know why he had to say it to me twice. He just I'm I'm double rich. That's why. I'm super rich. I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septim of it honestly. I can tell. That's actually ridiculous because on this run, I've earned more of my gold more honestly than on any other previous run Finally catching a stream lambo thank you very much for the tier one good to see you back but yeah no my wealth none of your business bring y'all back off i'm an honest worker i have been this whole time i've maybe broken one law and it was on accident so it's not really even breaking the law right like if you run a red light and you get pulled over you got an easy out sir i didn't know that was illegal Extra hands. All right, well you're free to go. Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under his stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. Bakaovu, I'll do my best not to die to bullshit. I think we should be okay though. I have a good feeling about this run right now. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. Bear Grylls is still kicking. No. Yep, Bear Grylls is alive. You ready? And we'll get started. Now nah, let's do this later. Ready when you are. Just give the word. I kind of want to. Yeah. See Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? Oh, Balaman, I would what love to see your miracles of work. Repair, let's get married. Purchase. I think we have to do a quest for him. Yeah, we got to get him fire salts. Smithing's been a the secret is my forge. Well, it, I'm probably not going to be able to find 10 fire salt should give 10 fire salts without using any vendors is going to be tough. Also, I just realized are we technically allowed to do Balaman's Yeah, we could do Balaman's quest. I won't rob him of that opportunity. Working at the Rift and Fishery but I kind of want to take on... Oh, let's go see the Jarl of Town. Also, we have to sleep. I keep putting off sleep. So let's take a nap. Okay, not interested. Let me get a room. Sure thing. It's your, if it's true that the dragons have... Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty. Kill the dragon? I got a bounty letter for a dragon? I don't know if I'm ready to do that. <laughs> that's that. I feel like that's how I can easily lose this run, is by taking on a dragon. Especially on my own. I'm gonna take another level up into stamina. I need, I need to keep getting my carry weight up. Can we take heavy armor? No, but well-footed. I'm always going to be wearing all heavy armor, so let's take well-fitted. Right? That should immediately give me a buff, because I'm going helmet, feet, body armor, hands. All four slots, heavy armor. And that already buffs it. The steel soldier armor, we're already at 65 armor, just from our, our like... Oh, hold on. We have to pray as well. And I got to make sure that I continue paying my full hotel price. Don't tell me I got caught. I would like to avoid jail time right now. Kind of a rough start, though. First getting to Riften and immediately being down 200 gold. All right, we didn't get caught. We need to go pray our disease away. I think some hold court mages keep fire salts within their vicinity. Oh, you're right. 
That's actually a really good idea. So if we go into the keep right up here, we can pretend to make friends with the mage and take all their fire salts. They usually have some on the shelf. You were in the middle of watching the VOD channel? Well, Amber, if you would like to catch up, I don't blame you. But if you don't, and you would rather hang out here, also acceptable. No, 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 I don't want it. I think we lost him. Oh God. Ah, ah. <laughs> no. Stay away. Officer, you gotta help me. This Stay psychopath right is following me. I can't lose him. Door. Get inside, get inside the keep. <sighs> Slam the door behind us. <sighs> okay. All right. Jesus. That was close. All right, let's see if the court wizard has Well, we did have an appointment, but I'm the one that planned it. You know what I'm going to do? I have a soul gem, and when I was looking through my recording yesterday, I actually don't have a soul gem. Okay, never mind. I thought I did. You have any fire salts on you, ma'am? Really? None? That's disappointing. I know she has a quest. Excuse my disorganization. I think she has a pretty big experience. side quest. Need something? Does anyone think I look like Ronald from Jury Duty? <laughs> I don't think so. What, because he's a white guy with brown hair and a beard? Come on. Now, I know a lot of us look fairly similar. It is a distinct look. If his hair was longer, maybe. But his hair is pretty short. Someone actually interested in what I'm doing. Oh no, I'm just pretending. I'd like to see if you have a quest. My experimentation involves a magical It's the vibes too. No, Ronald is a, a little bit more aloof. Also, if I saw um Oh my god, what what what's the guy's name? Who the guy from Westworld and Frozen and every literally everything else who's in that show? Who's James Marsden? You're right. I would have recognized James Marsden immediately. I would have been like, holy shit. You're the guy in Westworld. Dark Saint, I'm glad you're enjoying it. You were mentioning something about the first time you streamed on your last VOD, but you got sidetracked. Do you remember what it was? Ring. Oh, oh, the first time I ever streamed, it was off of my Xbox to my laptop. I used my dog as my face cam because I didn't want to appear on camera, and I was playing Fallout 76. And I had uh, one person in chat. I don't remember the name of them. But they were very nice. Do I have a stream, uh, stream schedule? I don't. Oh, true. Merg. Okay, sorry. Hold on. So I'm, I am totally getting sidetracked here. Uh, Merg will remember the first stream I ever technically did. I was like 17 or 18, and I played this one horror game uh, that I saw Markiplier play. And uh, uh, I don't remember. I just did it like for fun so one or two of my friends could see it. But that's all. All right, all right. Anyway, let's get back into this quest. Someone actually interested in what I'm doing. Amazing. Yes, I had my dog Clarence. Uh, in the face cam box. My experimentation involves a magical construct and a reagent that will allow the construct to maintain a field of permanent harmonic What is the best crossbow? I'm actually not sure. Uh, I totally wasn't listening. I would use the blue thing. The blue thing? But even the simplest harmonic field is composed of entirely... Wait just a moment. The blue thing see, I know what I'm talking about. See your point. Draw out the necessary energies using a jar Is Clarence eyes. still with us? No. Uh, Clarence but died. Wait. We had to put Clarence down Reversal. two years ago this September. November. Near an open magic field. Seven. Seven. Astonishing. I hadn't considered that. I mean, it would take months years to work out the differentials but what a revolutionary concept Wait, i'm trying to pick up on what she's talking about halfway through minor problem in your theory 
Without a soul siphon, how would you prevent permanent magic a burn? Ma'am, I'm getting really hungry. Swallow a soul gem. Yeah, yeah, I'm hungry. I'm hungry right now. Swallow a soul gem. I could eat that. Are you completely insane? Swallow a soul gem? That has to be the most brilliant and <laughs> See? solution I've heard in a long time. All I need is inspiration from my tummy. My problems and keeps the field stable. Now all I need... Wait, what were we talking about? Hey, I've been a big fan, never been able to catch your streams and made time to do so to let you know I love your content. Well, I appreciate that, Nightly Desires. Also, you completed the Legendary Survival Solstime only challenge. What the hell? I was supposed to be the first one. Come on, man. Ah. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. Congratulations. It's tough. It takes a lot of focused energy. Okay, so that didn't actually get us a quest. Yes, I could use some. Well, it in fact oh that's right she sends you off to grab like three separate things i don't know if we'll be able to do this quest it, it seems a yeah it seems really dangerous spoon ingot soul gem i think it takes us to like a dwemer ruin or something oh shit i forgot about this guy following us okay we gotta dodge him no got something i'm supposed to deliver your hands only let's see here looks like that's it Got to go. Uh, wait to be contacted by a... Cr oh, that's right. I forgot about this. What did we do? Was this the person that we fist fought? Bear Grylls, I've been watching your exploits for some time. I've known of your cunning nature. I've long known of your cunning nature. But after seeing the sheer might you demonstrated in your counter encounter with Azadi, I think you're exactly the kind of person we need right now. We are known as Remnants. Some call us the eyes that watch. That's corny. For decades, we have helped steer the destiny of Hammerfell. We are a mirage, a constant and formless threat to our enemies on the horizon. I, Fije, serve as their leader. Though the Dominion withdrew from Hammerfell years ago, the Thalmor continued to strike at us in secret. We received word from the city of Sentinel of one of our own. Rakid has been taken hostage by the Thalmor. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. I'll mark it on your map. Okay, so hostage situation near Markarth. That is really far. I also don't even think it was marked on my map. Yeah, I'm not really sure where they're at. No, I think that that quest is anniversary content. Let's get a bite. How are we on food? We're more than good on food. Probably have another week's worth. So we should be good for a bit. Working at the Riften Fishery is tough, but it puts some coin in I feel like I've done the quest in Riften so many times I don't really want to, although it's decent training. Let's just go. Oh, wait. How are we doing on weight? 226 out of 250. I need to hit the blacksmithing. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble. Shut up. You can pretend I hate this guy. You're irrelevant, Maul. You have a cool name, though. Oh, do they not have a smelter here? Is it just the forge? Gold ring. I don't have that many ingots. Can I at least? No. Well, I can probably save 10 or 12 pounds. So we'll just do that. I should have a good amount of iron ore. Silver ore, quick silver ore. Maybe I don't have iron ore? We're up to 21 steel ingots, so we're doing decent. We gotta go find more iron. Oh, the open world around this town scares me, though. It's intimidating. And the last thing I want to do is, when I'm not warmed up, go out and get dangerous, get myself killed. So let's just progress as little as we can in town without danger. Let's help out Brynjolf. Shore Stone. Okay, yeah, that's where we were before. 
We can probably safely explore the roads along here. I don't think they're insanely dangerous. I think up here it gets a bit more sketchy. But the mine we need to go to, the ebony mine, is right up here. But we took this path. Lots of bears. If you were here at the end of last stream, there were plenty of them. Okay, good. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. Why take a chance? Everyone, everyone, gather round. Now this technically counts as me stealing an armor, a craftable item, but I think since it's for a quest, this should be okay. Plus I get to show off my lockpicking prowess once again. Never broken a lockpick. Almost. I wouldn't want you to get left out. That's what you said about the wisp essence, and it turned Who out sees me? crushed nerve root mixed with water. There we go. Will I get caught? I've been caught doing this before. Well, I see that my time is up. Come back tomorrow if you need I love how his speech ends immediately after I get the ring on him. Everyone, quick, gather around. Well, that's all the time I got today. I'll see you all tomorrow. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. And here you go. Your payment, just as I promised. Lockpick emote is in the works. I actually just got the first sketch today. Tough titty? The run is going very well. Really enjoying it. I mean, now that I finally feel like I've made some progress. But never mind that. All right, then. The group I get there in my organization. All right, let's go find the Thieves Guild. Shouldn't be too hard to find them. And if you think about it, the Thieves Guild is probably a decent way for us to find some gems so that we can craft jewelry. I would like to get smithing 50. By the end of this stream, I'd like to have smithing 50 and be well on our way. Warning, stay out of the rat way. Blah, blah, blah. Don't care. Can't loot that weapon, though. Yeah, I wasn't stealing that ring. I was just borrowing it for a little bit. That was that was chill. Are these guys going to be really tough? Should I be afraid? Uh, yeah, I probably should be a little afraid. That guy's tough. Okay, maybe not as scared as I thought I should be. But still more damage than I'm comfortable taking. It's not a little game, okay? This is a big game, and I'm really nervous about how this challenge might play out. So just please let me get to the Thieves Guild. Ooh, piece of candy. Oh, duh, the handle's down here. Bear Girls isn't fucking around anymore. It's time to get trivial with it. It doesn't count. That lock was already injured. It's going well, Edward. We just started. Is there no one in here? All right, I just want to make sure I don't kill myself with the trap. Safety first. Always explode the floating oil pots. Just because something stupid may happen, and I know for a fact if I let it stay there, I would eventually come full circle thank and you, kind, drop sir. it on my own head. G-Pop, thank you so much for the tier two. Oh, that's right. This is the guy who punches. There's a lot of bear traps in here too, right? I'm 
so as long as I avoid the bear traps. Ow. Okay, he does a lot more damage than I thought he would. Oh, you get pushed around and bullied a lot? Well, I'm gonna bully the fuck out of you. Get over here. Ow. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. This guy's got hands. That lifetime of bullying and training he's gone through was worth it. Could you imagine the embarrassment if I blew this entire run due to an execution kill cam by a guy punching me? I don't think I'd survive. I think I'd have to stop playing this game for the rest of my life. Ghost, anniversary quest. I think this is a door. Yeah, that goes in somewhere. We'll skip that one for now. We can get a little pet. There's a key somewhere though. I don't remember where the key is to this cage. I would like to have a little skeever pet. Just so I can have one friend along the journey. Dead, this is a skill book. Oh, I don't want to go through the whole Thieves Guild exposition dialogue though. I just needed some stress-free content though to level up my skills a tad. The key was in that room with the table. Oh, is it the one with the book? Quit kidding yourself. To be again when you prove yourself. Well, well, calling me impressed, lass. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. No, I almost got killed. I I actually think I could have lost that fight to the guy with his hands. No risk, no reward. That's the way it goes. So you better get used to it. Now. If you're done belly aching like a child, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? Like a child? Come on. Do you know what I've been through to get here? They owe our organization some <coughs> serious credit, and they've just. I want you to explain, Kirava. Do this right, and I can. Honestly, a word of warning though. Good. If you need any details on your marks, stay I'll out of here. trouble. Or now get going. All right, this should be easy. We get this quest done. We'll make some extra cash. We'll probably be close to halfway. Or it'll at least pay for a stay or two in a hotel. Key, 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 key. Where is the key? Oh, it's on this dead body, isn't it? I think it's Scritch. Oh, trap, oh, trap. Oh my Lord, oh, okay. We're good. I spotted it last second. How did I not see that before? Okay, come on out, Scritch. Hi, buddy. Hey. What's up, little dude? I don't think he really follows me much. I just have to teleport him wherever and he'll wander around that area. But whenever I want some company, I will forever have Scritch. Where are you? Where's Scritch? Is it in Conjuration? No, it's an alteration. Okay, well, either way. What happens if Scritch steps on a bear trap? Can Scritch die? Scritch! Come here, it's for science. No. Other way. There you go, there you go. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay, okay. Maybe that's karma. I deserve that. I deserve that. I'm sorry, Scritch. Okay, I'm leaving. Oh, look at him. Look at him as he deftly avoids the bear trap. Scritch, I knew I raised you properly. Let's not do that again. Scritch, is this one friendly? He looks friendly. No, he's not friendly. I didn't realize I could filter in the quick menu. Why did I just learn that now? What? Oh my God. That's so much easier. I'm only doing that from now on. 
Okay, expert luck. First try. We got this. Middle, middle. There we go. It's four o'clock, three o'clock. Uh, no. Almost had it. It's closer. It's two o'clock. Oh, 130? Oh my gosh, it's 145. You are so annoying. What time is the appointment? 215? I knew it. The appointment's always at 215. Now I'm going the wrong way. Oh, I went the wrong way that whole time. Can't wait to never use that exit again. Can you make the skeevers carry stuff for you? I don't think so. Like, Scritch is pretty much gone until I decide to teleport him again. By the timer? I think the timer can provide fun context if I ever use any clips from the live stream itself in the video. And just because I've never actually used one before. Although it is a little bit, it is a little bit awkward where it is right now. I'm going to grab it and just ever so slightly move it this way. Like that. Yeah. Put it under? No, I can't put it under me. Because then it's going to cover up the magic bar. Or at least get in the way of it. Until next time. All right. I know what we're doing. We go to this guy, the general store. All right, fucker, listen up. I got a message for you. Yeah, yeah, one of you people. doesn't even bother to show up. Petty threats and fist waving are not going to sway me. Petty threats and fist waving will not sway me. Well, what if I destroy your beloved base? Just pay them, Bear Seed. Please, I don't have anything. No! That urn was priceless. Yeah, well, Grandma's ashes aren't enough to pay up, so give me the gold. I can't believe you did that. You people are monsters. You demand payment for protection, and you can't even protect yourselves. That's not true. I fought off two bears, all right? Four bears. To leave us alone. And ran away from two of them. Just pay them, Bear Seed. I like how she's kind of on my side. Thank you, Drifa. You're the only one who comes to your senses in this whole entire quest. All right, one down. And I didn't have to break the rules. If you talk to Scritch, you can have him follow you? Let's see. If you're looking for a room, try to be in bar. Maybe we can have Scritch do the intimidation here. All right, Scritch, let him know. You'll shit in all the beds. You'll leave droppings everywhere. Oh my god, I can! And he can carry things! I didn't realize that. That'd be cheating, though, if we have him carry stuff. So we won't do that. But I will have him follow me. Scritch is absolutely our newest friend. Welcome to the team, Scritch. We're happy to have you. He's not even looking at me. How can I tell he loves me if he can't make eye contact? What did you want? I have a message for you from Brynjolf. What does he want now? I already explained to him that you can't get blood from a stone. Bring it on. Look, I can't make the coin appear out of thin air. Please be reasonable. I'll I'll pay next month. This feels so mean. We've run out of patience. And so have I. What's the point of paying anyway? Your outfit can't even fend for itself. I could do better tossing the gold into the sewer. You can't scare me with your tough talk. I'm not paying you people a single coin. Okay, well if tough talk won't work, then what if I grab this inanimate object over here? Hey! Hey! Wait, 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 no, how did the hell did you see that? Scritch! You can't tell them about me. Okay, wait, we gotta finish the dialogue quick. Please, don't take the statue. Not Lady Debella. No, please, I can't lose her. That's right. I get the message. Then pay with your Here, blood. Take no! 
I hope you go, go, we gotta go. I'm glitched in here. I'm stuck. I'm actually stuck. What the fuck is going on? I'm stuck in the dialogue. Or I'm stuck between both dialogues and I just freaked out. I can't move. Okay, that was close. I just gotta get through the teleport. But he took that as me immediately... Shit. Okay, I gotta get out of town. We gotta go. Uh, Scritch, are you able to keep up? You gotta keep pace, buddy. We gotta go. We're not gonna be able to surrender to him. The dialogue glitched. But that's okay. We react, we adapt, and we overcome. Nice try, nice shot. Can't hit me. Oh, this was supposed to be a peaceful adventure in Riften. Short stop, we'll have some fun. Maybe complete a quest. We'll have a good time. Nope. Instead, Scritch narks on me. Now I have to skip town. Sorry, Brynjolf. <laughs> Maybe I can help out the Thieves Guild later. Okay, there's no way they shoot me underwater. Joke's on you, officers. I invested in incredibly expensive water breathing. I think this is the first time a water breathing potion has really paid off for me. God, that was close. I lost complete control of my character for a few seconds there and thankfully didn't completely lose my cool. I lost my cool a little bit. But not too bad. Unsheath and resheath, not enough time for that. I'm not fucking with it. I could have stand there and tried it multiple times in close quarters and just taken enough hits to be thrown into a kill cam. I'm not letting it happen. No, sir. Whew. We're alive. We're alive. That's all that matters. All right, Scritch has some explaining to do, though. Where the hell are you? Get out here, Scritch. Hey. You mind explaining to me what the hell that was all about? I was doing fine. We had the statue. I was in the clear. But no, you had to pipe up. You were supposed to be upstairs laying turds on all the beds, playing a little prank. We take the statue. We threaten them. We get out nice and easy. But no, now we're fucked. Now everyone in town hates us. And it's your fault. The guard's still following? All right, they're not still giving chase. You better hope we, not, we don't run into anything insane out here, Scritch. Because if I die here soon, I'm blaming it all on you. Ridiculous. Don't be mean. Don't be mean, I almost died. This would have been his fault, but you know what, Scritch? You led me to better paths, and now I'm back to picking flowers. And for that, I thank you. There's an orc stronghold over here, so maybe we can go make some friends. That's what I need to do. I need to find a nice orc stronghold and go hang out with my people for a bit. All the stress of guards and crime and dialogue, it's too much. I need to remove myself from society. We must defend the goat. Run, goat. Oh, sorry, Scritch. Get out of the way. Get out. I, I, I got a loot. Assassin. Okay, they're going to be decent DPS. Whoa. A dark elf switch to sparks nope nice try really good damage though so we got to be careful stumble kill shot nice Ooh, I do get nervous, though, with the dual wield. I'm going to have the thugs attack me, too. 
hired thugs. They're going to pop up at some point because we stole stuff. You're just here for my cat? Do I have a cat? I don't think I have cats. No, the spinning attack is scary. You can certainly interrupt it easily, but if you let it hit you, it's going to be two or three strong attacks all at one time. Who's pissed off now? Oh my god! The York Stronghold is under attack by a giant! My people! Oh my god, I gotta save them! This is a nightmare, they're already dead! Holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, why? Go, 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 go! Man, this guy's got wheels too. Do I have any stamina potions? I don't. We're pretty much out of stamina potions. I gotta get behind the walls. Oh my god, I'm out of sprint. I'm out of sprint. Please get your sprint back. I swear to God, if the run ends here, run! Do not! Do not! Get behind the wall! Go! Oh. Okay. We may lose the entire fortress, but at least I'm behind a wall. Oh. He can. Can he get in here? Okay, he can get in here. He can get in here. He can't get up to this tower though, can he? Can he hit through it? Can he have like a weird animation that just attacks through the wood? He killed everyone! Okay, she's still alive. I have to save the stronghold. I must. There's no way. How could I play an orc character and not save an orc stronghold under attack? All right, first off, never mind. Spider is dead. And now the giant is gone. Oh, Jesus, he massacred them. Everyone is gone. <gasps> are the elders hiding out inside? Please tell me the elders are okay. Oh, I don't like this strategy. Now he's just going to wait it out back there. Psst, Mr. Goat. Hey. I have a... I got a mission for you. I need you to run back there distract Mr. Giant, bring him out here in the open, and then I can, you know, hit him with a, wait, how many arrows do I have? Uh, two. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, so this orc is alive. They might be essential, but they're walking around really weak. Clearly injured. But if we can have her come right through here and aggro, bring the giant out, I can at least hit it with some flames and just slowly whittle him down. He's not aggroed right now. He's friendly, but he's still in the walls. She's very cautiously approaching. Taking her position on the wall. Okay, I respect it. I still hear his footsteps back there. There he is. There he is. He's poking his head out the bastard. He's taunting us. <laughs> He's taunting us from behind the house. All right. We can't have him taunting us from behind the longhouse. That's just not respectable. Not on our property. Whoa. There's got to be something I can do to get him out here. Can't see him back this way. Oh, the mage is alive too. I don't want to initiate them in conversation either because if I do, I'll, I, I don't know, maybe I get stuck and then the giant attacks. I got most of my stamina back. Let's make sure we're well fed. Take some veggie soup for the moment. There he is. Get his attention and bring him out. girls you got this orc power girl power all in one just three powerful orc queens taking on a giant die invader fall back you keep going with the ice spike it's doing good work love the ice spikes though 
But now he's yeah, gonna get you. awkward. Grimo, thank you very much for the tier one. Keep it up, keep it up. That's right, stare me in the face. What are you gonna do about it, punk? Oh. No, oh my God, I just killed her. No, 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 she's hitting me now. F why did I do that? The shout went through him and took her out. Now I'm a traitor to my own kind. And the ice spikes are gonna slow me down a ton. Potato soup gives me warmth, right? No, hot cabbage soup. We invested in this earlier. Remember, we made the hot cabbage soup so we could get extra warmth in an emergency. Restore 200 points of cold. Let's take that. Hopefully it reverses the ice spike that just hit us. We're gonna go, do I have magicka resistance? No, I got rid of them because I thought I could get away without them. Great. I have now murdered an orc in cold blood. I'm wanted by my own people when I was trying to help. I have very little recourse of getting out of this fight, save for hopefully the soup that I just drank working, this magical soup. I'm literally banking all of the entire run on fucking soup. Of course, I said the run would be easy. Now it's about to end on the most ridiculous technicality ever. The one time I try to be a good person, this is what happens. Why am I so slow? I literally can't move. There we go. Now we're out? Okay. I must have freaked out and accidentally turned on permanent walking. She's shooting at me. Why are you? I'm on your side. There is a giant in your fucking base and you shoot at me. This is ridiculous. Please, can we talk about this? You and me, one on one. Bear Grylls and you. Haven't learned your name yet, but I would love to, seeing as we're, you know, caught in the same battle. Again, a little rude. Oh, you, God, and you're accurate with it too? You know what, Mr. Giant, can you help me out here? Now I'm on the giant side. Shit, she's gonna kill the giant. Okay, I sheathed, she's no longer mad at me. No, she is mad at me. She's definitely mad at me, we gotta go. Great, oh, great. What's that one thing uh, Arthur Morgan says in Red Dead? Wanted in the South, wanted in the West. We got law men in three states after us. That's how I feel right now. Can't use Berserker Rage. I popped it when I was in the Thieves Guild. Attacked by nonstop wolves over here now. Oh, nice of you to show up, Scritch. Hmm, wonder why I'm in trouble with the tribal orcs now. Probably because you nerked on me again. Hmm, is that what you did? You told him? You said, oh, look, he killed him. It's all his fault. Ever since you got here, Scritch, nothing has gone my way. Then he has the audacity to give me that look. North and south, Scritch, that's how you look at me, okay? You're going east and west. I need you here. I need you right up the middle. More red dots. Goblins? I think I fought these little goblins without much trouble. But I don't want to get too surrounded. Whoa. Let's just nice and easy, surround them, get as many hits as we can. I want to take the XP. Spider? <clears throat> Two spiders right past us. And another bear, and another bear. You've got to be kidding me. This is out of control. It looks like the bear aggroed onto the goblins. Yeah, but that bear's gonna finish him off quickly and then start chasing us. We gotta work our way back. Can I catch thank my breath? <sighs> Reesh, thank you very much for the prime. Thank you. Sorry, I'm very stressed out right now. I mean, even the character is out of breath. That's how I feel right now. I'm exasperated. It's been like a half hour. <clears throat>
Yeah, Rift and Hold sucks right now. Okay. All right. Whew. Let's breathe. Let's reassess. Sleep it off in the cell and try again. It's not a bad idea. I don't have any stolen equipment. I'm not really relying on much stolen gear. Uh, never mind. I've got this corundum, and I'd rather not lose it. Damn. Oh, great. Welcome. Screw it. She's letting everyone in Mother Nature know where we are, our exact location. The Bear Alliance is using him to triangulate our position at all times. I think he's a sleeper cell agent. That's Scritch's deal. He's working against me actively. Can you stash the ore in a barrel and go back for it? Technically, no, because in RuneScape Iron Man, you don't have bank storage. Finally, let me take out my anger on an even opponent. <laughs> if I can't beat this elk, then I'll just start taking on rabbits. Okay, all right, fine, 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 fine. Stop right there. I surrender. I surrender. Take, you can take the corundum from me. I'm not very happy about it, but take it. All right? Smart woman. Now come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be able <sighs> to go. After you pay the fine, of course. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm good. I'll pay that fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I repent. Forgive me of my crimes. Just let me take a second to breathe. Okay. We're not doing too bad. Why are my feet so tiny? Is it just me or are my feet comically small right now? They look like little pencils. <coughs> now there's one more person we have to intimidate. We might as well get that out of the way. <coughs> you think I'm going to die soon? I don't think so. You want something or not? Look at Take this. Every single coin I owe is there. I swear it. Did I see Elon's rocket explode? Uh, no. <clears throat> Heard they're informing the dawn guard. Vampire hunters are some I try to pay uh, the least amount of attention possible to the world's most wannabe comedian that I can. <laughs> Alright, we got all three. Is it? No, it's just taking care of business. Okay. Thank God I'm alive. That was terrifying. You see, now, the, now it's getting ridiculous. What did I run into? An ore? I'm getting attacked by fishing equipment or rowing equipment. Even that's being weaponized against me. Everything is against me this run. I am a victim of bullshit. Dies from bullshit, died from bullshit. Bear Grylls is getting a lot of bullshit thrown her way. So, job's done and you... Well done. And it would seem I owe you... I gotta say, though... Turn. Here you go. I think you'll we should have lost. Useful. There were There were two times there where we probably should have lost. Skirmishers draft, solution of health, we oh that's weak. I, don't, I should have just kept the gold. Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like that's the spirit. I think you'll do more than just fit what's on your mind. We've run in tell you what. You keep Should we go through the no exposition dialogue? Questions. How about following me and I'll show you what we're all about. You should do the water ch what is the water challenge? Like in game? Is it something I can do in game? Thank you, kind sir. Hi, Goop Jobo. Hey, Ben Pie. How are you? I think you better listen to Mercer and Brinio first. Please play you Roblox with me. Time. Um, I'm gonna pass. Does Roblox have any good uh, open world sandbox RPGs in their repertoire? The operation. Then you can ask your questions.
Yeah, he had to like contemplate that for a second. He's like, huh? Hmm. Like he's looking around. Is this the door? Is that the right one? In a minute, where am I? <laughs> he's like me. He had to check his map real quick, make sure he's going in the right direction. I gotta do that all the time. He's still kind of confused. Let's go. Let's get this exposition out of the way. Come on. Oh, I think Scritch is in the way. Scritch, get out of Brynjolf's way. You're ruining everything. <laughs> See, he's so sick of you, Scritch. He had to teleport. Come on, Brynjolf. Let's go. I hate this part. This part always takes too long. We Brazilian loves you. Obrigado. This is the one I was talking about. All right, Our time to just sit back and chill while this goes on. Another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules... Game audio is super quiet? Rich. Give me one sec here. I have it up in game pretty loud, but... Oh, you know what I can do? Give me one sec, chat. Let me know, because I have always thought that it's a little bit quiet. Some people say it's mostly okay, but I'll just bump it slightly up. Because on my actual capture software on OBS, I have it turned down just a tad. Let me know how that sounds. If it's too loud, we can change it. Break rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. Do I make myself clear? I didn't listen to a single one of those rules. But yeah, dude, why the rules? You know what? I'll just play along. Good. Then I think it's. I know you're the bad guy anyway, Mercer, and we kill you in the end. Spoiler alert. But they're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. Claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So the disbelievers are spending more, but there are less of them. State is critically important to one of our largest. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. <coughs> Rignol will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Since Brignol assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. We're in. Well, that easy. <coughs> I think that is uh, Nick Valentine's voice actor. I would think it's the same one. He sounds just like him. Simple. You should talk with. Oh, and talk to Tanelia and the flagger. She'll. Hey, I'm not done talking to you. Oh my gosh, he's never done talking to me. Come on. Golden Glow Estate. We need you to teach him a lesson. Burn down the bee farms. Grab the thing. Aye, the last thing we. Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. I don't think that the combat on this mission should be too tough. I think we'll be all right. He's not Nick Valentine, he's Bellathor. That is kind of cool though, to go from playing characters like, you know, Brynjolf and Bellathor which, like, Brynjolf is a major character, but Nick Valentine is a way, way, way more major character to Fallout 4 in general, especially with Far Harbor. If you're looking for anything to sell for a fair price... I want to see Sven's voice actor come back more. I really need more Rosh Pennon in my Elder Scrolls universe. He just has a perfect Weasley, just, I want to punch this guy in the face kind of voice. I don't think this quest will give us a ton of trouble. You bought Far Harbor and never played it? I would suggest you absolutely play it. Under my protection. You watch yourself now. Do I mean Feindal? Do Feindal and Sven have the same voice actor? You want to speak with my husband. New in town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess.
Yeah, the tower defense minigame does stink. Especially the first time you do it and you have no clue what you're doing. All right. Let's find the secret entrance in here. How are we doing? What, what's fatigue drained? I just kind of stamina regenerate way slower. I feel like I'm getting tired really quickly. Maybe because time passed when I had to pay off my bounty. There's a secret entrance somewhere around here. I always forget where. Maybe it doesn't show on the map. Anybody remember where it is? Barnacles? Ooh, are there any barnacles on this boat? This doesn't look like it, sadly. Sewers around the other side. Yeah, I want to check around. Just do a quick circle. The, 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 that's my favorite collection noise. I needed to talk to Vex. Oh, because Vex would have given me the secret info. Why the hell wouldn't they have told me that then, earlier? I'm going to find it. Oh, you know what? I think it's off the shore, isn't it? No. It's going to be attached to the island. It's by the dock. That's what I thought. I don't think I'm trespassing yet. They can't be too angry at me, can they? I like how within 15 minutes of joining the Thieves Guild and hearing a bunch of spiel about... We're not murderers, we're thieves. So we're gonna send you on this mission five miles out of town. Sorry, five miles is a stretch. Five feet outside of town where you're most likely gonna have to kill several people. Good luck. No, it's like right across the lake. It's not even far at all. We're not murderers until we get caught. That's the thing with the Thieves Guild. They're not murderers, they're thieves. And if they get caught, it's self-defense, so not murder. I was trespassing. You happened to pull out a sword. I only did what I had to. Yeah, I just don't remember off the top of my head where it is. Whatever. I'm going for the front door. I don't care. Oh. Found it. I thought it was in the water. All right, Scritch, this is very serious. We got to be careful here. I need you to do your job with the utmost. Are you okay? Scritch? Oh, you see another friend. That's why you're having that reaction. Don't worry. Now you can play with them. What the fuck? Where did you go? What happened to him? I'm telling you, my ragdoll physics this whole run. They're all out, of, all out of whack. Okay, we have to be careful here. It's only skeevers, but at some point there's going to be traps. Way to get involved, Scritch. I think his animations are just stuck. Oh. <laughs> no way, Scritch. I like this version of you. He's taxidermied. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Let's go. 
so much better. I, I already like you. There's just so much more charm to you. The inanimate objects are attacking us once again. Dave Peepo, thank you so much for watching the videos, and thank you for stopping by your stream. How are you? We're in the middle of an intense espionage operation. Adept lock. Easy. Come on. Trap? No. Woo! I'm on fire. That was a good one, too. I need potions of stamina, though. That's the one thing I'm lacking. Scritch, please. If you don't mind. If you... Oh! <laughs> How to maneuver your pet who just won't listen. Uh, this is going to be fun, Scratcher. I'm glad we brought you along. I'm nervous. In closed spaces like this, they make it tough to maneuver around enemies. I don't have eyes in the back of my head, right? So if I get pushed... And let's just say there's a trap I didn't take into account, and I start moving backwards. Then I'm moving backwards into potential traps, which I really would like to avoid. Alright. What? Oh man, how did I do that? Completely missed the entrance to the actual estate. How do I blame this on Scritch? Oh nice, I didn't fix his animations! I could probably fix it if I just re-teleport him again, but I'd rather not. He's perfect just the way he is, chat. I don't want any scritch slander in chat. Wait, that can't be it. Is that really it? What kind of secret entrance is that? Scritch might be a snitch, but he has charm. Appreciate the shout out for that book. Now I have to do... Okay. Close door, open door, and then your pet will kindly move out of the way. It's important also that we learn how to survive while doing this playthrough, but also how to be a good pet parent. You've learned previously on the channel how to be an adoptive parent and successfully raise children in Skyrim. Now, learn how to be a pet parent so that your children can have someone to play with. But the pet needs to be well behaved. I gotta be careful while I'm here. My stamina and magicka are going to regen slowly. I've also been caught, and now they want to kill me. What's their health like? Not low. Thank you, kind sir. Let's try and avoid these. It's Thalor. Is that how I say that? Thank you. Thank you very much for the tier one. Let me, real quick. That should have stumbled you. Power attack comes in. Okay, that's an owie. We don't like owies. How am I not hitting him at all? There we go. Okay, one down. I'm not out of health potions, am I? I am out of health potions. I am. Win 
There we go. Bear Grylls improving in combat as every second passes. But still, enemies like that, you know, they get a nice little string of attacks on you. Maybe there's a third one. Maybe one of them's an archer. You never know. And when that starts happening, that's how you get shot with an arrow you're not expecting when you're already at half health. It knocks you down to 30% health, and then the kill cam starts. That's how you get completely screwed. So I need to go get some health potions. Where can I make potions in Riften? Damn, I miss being in Whiterun. It was really easy out there. I'm the first person to ever get your name right first try. Hey, I take pride in giving it my absolute best to try and pronounce a Twitch username as accurately as possible. What's yours? Deacon the God. Easy. Come on. Give me something tough next time. Under the docks, there's an alchemy shop. What is it? Dragons? Dilsiek? Is that how you would pronounce that? Bear Trap? That one's easy. Nepeta Cateria? Easy. Once again. Come on. You gotta step it up if you want to challenge me. If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up Wagadodo. Golu. Rose of J. I have got yours wrong. I've called you B Rose quite a few times. <clears throat> if you're Do I really have to pay? Empire, sure thing. It's your shot. I'll show you I'm already out 300 gold since I got to town here. I haven't made a dime. Actually, I think I'm close to breaking even. Let's get a full eight hours. Wake up just before 10 a.m. Holy shit, Scritch. Oh, your animation's fixed. You're not nearly as charming as you were before. Now you're just annoying. A little bit low on steak salmon. Salmon steak. I don't think I have enough ingredients to make that many healing potions either. It's probably the best play for us to do a run throughout Riften looking for blue mountain flowers and healing ingredients and whatnot. Could you pronounce rapport for us? Rapport. There you go. That's a good amount. We got... Yeah, four to... F so, 17. 17 healing potions. <clears throat> that should keep us alive for a while. Knock on wood. I'd prefer not to completely blow this. Sorry. Just thinking about my experience. You just strange here too, huh? about anything. Am I able to use the Creation Club farm if I don't? No. No, once, once I get to that point, that's a bit cheesy. Typically, all the things we've been using for potions have just been manually harvested. Pronounce Constantinopolitan Shikonetska. <laughs> that's, that's my best shot. That's all you get. Ah, a worthy opponent for my combat abilities. Die, spawn of Satan.
Damn it, I used Spawn of Satan in one of the New Vegas videos. I can't use that again. No, I don't want to use Bound Bow. If we use Bound, mainly because we're already using Bound Bow a lot in the Solstheim Challenge. And we're not going to change that strategy much when we go out to play it. I want to try a different build. It might not be the most meta build, but I'm having fun with it. And it's putting us in some challenging scenarios, like the bears or the giants. I wonder if the orc stronghold is still pissed off at me. I should probably go make amends with them. Let's complete this quest first. I don't even care anymore. I should just go in through the front door. What's the worst that happens if I go in through the front door? Come on. Come around here and fight me like a Nord warrior would. Okay, I can't get up there. Shit. Ah, I can I know I can do this. Pretty good damage with the arrows. Okay, three enemies on me all at one time. We got to bail. That's what I'm talking about with all the different enemies that surround us. Because some were going to hit us with arrows. We had one on us with melee. And then before I know it, I'm in a kill cam. And it's game over. Okay, there's a lot more of them than I thought. One, two, three, four. There's about five. And taking on two of them was already kind of a close call. This isn't bad training, though. Oh, you got. Nice, one down. You have any gold on you, sir? No evidence. You didn't see nothing. I wish I could jump and then attack. <laughs> it really is washing away the evidence. Oh, wait, no, never mind. It's just going to deliver him right to the footstep of the guards. I'm still probably going to get in trouble. Your only controller just broke. Now you can't play Skyrim while streaming Skyrim. <laughs> and Nepeta, that's rough. Now you're forced to only experience Skyrim through my really messed up eyes. They're both using steel tier weapons, so they will actually hit decently hard. Mm, not as bad of a hit as I thought. It's heavy armor XP at the end of the day, right? This fight's a bit more of a grind than I anticipated. I thought there were only like three of them, and I had already killed two, so I wasn't expecting five more. Mm, can we... Can we goof this little rock? It's got to be one of the more frustrating strategies of taking on this quest. Oh. Shouldn't have used that so soon.
Nice. All right, another one bites the dust. That's the strategy. Hit, hit, power attack. Hit, hit, power attack. If you do two hits, then a power attack on a standard human enemy, you're gonna get them to stumble. Can we loot the apiaries? No, I would love to loot them and take the bees from them. Why is that one on fire already? I did nothing. Must be, okay, there's two of them on fire. What did I do? I did nothing. This is not my crime. How do I keep only getting one of them with the shout? I'm getting really sick of these guys. Mm. Nice try, gentlemen. Should have quit. Should have quit. I would have gotten a new job. What, are you defending five beehives? That's your whole job? Let me check in. How was the game volume, by the way? Is it too loud? Or too quiet? It's good? Okay, cool. Granted. I took just the very first message that responded, so maybe it is bad. You can't beat me. We got a lot of experience from this fight. This was worth it. Good destruction XP, good restoration, heavy armor, one-handed. And I have a level up in the pocket. Punch? She yelled, but she didn't use the spell. Can I cast a spell while shouting? Great, now, now I'm stuck in the middle of a shout. And I just got flanked. That was a close call. No stamina potions. So anyway, I joined the Thieves Guild, which means we get to sneak around and not be a murderer. Remember, murder is against the code of being a good thief. But that was all self-defense. Being a thief, it's important to uphold the honor code of the Thieves Guild. Most people don't really understand it. They think that we're the Dark Brotherhood or something. We don't go out there to kill people. We go out to sneak, sleuth, maybe pick a lock or two. And we never steal from the poor and weary. We're an honorable guild. Okay, like any good thief, they never expect you to go in through the front entrance. Also, I have to take this challenge. 
Like it's an expert door. Mm? Thank you. That's that's how you respond. Okay. Maybe we do it properly next time. Okay, we just gotta get the key to this guy safe. And then we are out of here. I'm already almost discovered. Scritch, stop telling on me. It's also, it's ruining my confidence in lockpicking. The only reason I'm breaking these lockpicks is because Scritch is getting me off my game. Ah! Damn it, Scritch! Okay. It's because you're purring too much. What have we got in here? Ocean of stamina. Uh oh. All right, same tier enemy is outside. Ooh, three in a hallway, and it it does the same thing. Okay, so if I use the shout while I'm still recovering from being blocked, then it doesn't even use the shout. I'm a good thief. I'm a good thief. Thank you, kind sir. It's, it's in self-defense. You shouldn't have attacked me. I was trying to do my thieving duties, and you got in the way, sir. There's still time to give up. Never mind. The, the, well, when I said there was still time, I said that with two seconds left. So technically, I wasn't lying. Jake from State Farm, thank you so much for the tier one. Good to see you again. All right, no more murder, Scritch. Quick in, quick out. These guild quests are nice because they throw a ton of locked doors your way. I gotta make stamina potions when we get back. <clears throat> Basement, we have to go down here. It's gonna be more of them. Two in this room. Ugh, and they already see me. Don't you guys ever get tired of dying? Hey, Juve. What watcher here showing my support with Twitch chat? Unless we are no longer in the friendship arc. In that case, suck it, Twitch chat. <laughs> break the break. Thank you very much. We are currently in the friendship arc. Uh, there is peace between nations. Twitch chat and VOD channel friends. Uh, just keep that in mind. We're all on the same team here. Because if I fail this challenge, we are redeclaring war on each other. Oh, I, how do I only ever get one? No stumble, that's rigged. Two attacks at one time, we gotta just make sure we're on the right path. Wasted a stamina potion, but at least we got one dead. I'm out of healing, aren't I? Did I use all 17 of my healing potions? That was totally a waste of stamina because I have vegetable soup. Yeah, if we have vegetable soup, we can just get him in that stun lock. Scritch found something. What do you mean you found something? Go find food. What's that you got there? Apple dumpling. Get this shit out of my inventory. I don't need your help, Scritch. Okay, I can handle this mission on my own. Don't try to be cute by getting me presents. It's not going to increase your favor with me. <laughs> and if I break one more lock, you're going home. I'm sending him back to the sewers if I break one more. Huh. 
Hello? Is someone there? Of course there is. You, did you not hear all of your teammates getting shredded? I cannot believe I let him get that hit. We have to check our potion situation. Yeah, we're out. We are burning through potions on this mission. And I'm letting them get power attacks in. How can I not buy a stumble? Crazy. Yeah, suck it. Get out of my face. Tired of this quest. I need to get out of here. This is terrifying me. And I really don't want to push my luck any further. I think I've gotten rid of most of them. Can I please just save on some stuff? Can I just drag them into the flames here? I know there's another one. There's got to be. Hey! Hey! Come on, guys. I don't want to use any more potions. Oh, maybe we're done. I'm not going to break it this time. Okay, got a little cocky. It, there's no way it's middle middle, right? throws a middle middle expert lock pick out there craziness oh wait this is not the same sewer I was in before is it oh how did I miss this Oh, it's a hole in the ceiling, and I... How did I not see that? Okay. Brynjolf, mission accomplished. I made sure to follow the Thieves' Guild creed to a T. No one was murdered. It was all in self-defense. I like how I don't get a single bounty or wanted notice for all of that killing. But God forbid my rat decides to narc on me about a little statue that I picked up that I could easily have just handed over. That I did end up handing over, I'm pretty sure. And that was a death penalty. Come on. There we go. Forgot B in a jar? Yeah. We got a lot of things on our mind right now. What is it or? Oh, it's one of those collectible items, right? I should have grabbed it. Sorry, I missed that. What are you doing taking different doors? We're on a team. Oh my gosh, I have the secret entrance, don't I? Do I have the secret entrance? I don't remember if I unlocked it or not. It's really not that much faster. It's a little bit faster, but not by a ton. The rat companion isn't really a companion. He's more so a pet. He doesn't engage in combat. He just follows you around, picks up a food item every now and then. I'm going to be in trouble. Why am I going to be in trouble? Maven's furious. I told you not to burn more than three of the hives. I've smoothed things over with her for now, but you can forget your cut. Oh my god, why? What, dude? Come on! If anything, I deserve extra credit! I gotta go build a house, and you're gonna take my cut? At least you remembered one of the things I asked. Let me see that. Arengarth sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm That's bullshit. Out. 
<clears throat> That's craziness. Man. I don't care. You took away my cut because I did a better job than you wanted me to do. I quit. I'm leaving. No, the Thieves Guild suck. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by They name. wanted to buy out the business and the bees. So go get more bees. It's a fantasy universe. There's bees and bugs everywhere. <laughs> it's just business. Yeah, just business. That's between you, just keep your ears open. Shut up. I quit. I quit. This place sucks. Hey, let's talk a no, let's not. How about we talk about how your boss doesn't appreciate my work? Okay. Yeah, that's right, Scritch. Yeah. You smell that? It smells like bullshit. That's what I smell. Hell yeah, Scritch. Nice. That was a good one. That was a good one, dude. I'm kind of liking Scritch now. I'm telling the guards about our super secret hideout anyway. Place stinks. At least there's blue mountain flowers everywhere. I am supposed to talk to you, Maven. Yes, I am. Do you have any idea what that little stunt you pulled is going to cost me? I'm amazed you even bothered to show your face here. Well, you forgot one thing about me, Miss Maven. I don't give a shit. So you're the one that burned down Golden Glow. We've already been through this. Do you have any idea what that little stunt you pulled is going to cost? Do you know what it cost me? I'm amazed you even bothered to show your face here. Hey, we both lost out here, lady. We got, you know, we have aligning goals. The only reason we're having this conversation is due to Brynjolf's assurance you won't botch another assignment. He claims you possess some sort of uncanny aptitude for your line of work. Quite frankly, I find that... Where does Brynjolf even get that idea? I'm not a good sneak. I killed literally everyone at the compound. Why does he think I could do a good job of this? Also, I did it in broad daylight. I'm the best at what I do. How about we skip the conversation? Yeah, let's just not talk about it. Let's just ignore everything that just happened. You know, it's a new day. Good vibes. Maven, you're kind of giving off negative vibes right now. And, you know, based on the moon's position currently, I just think it's... It's not really doing that well for me. So let, let's just skip it. Let's get back to the positive stuff. You're a firebrand, aren't you? It's about time Brynjolf sent me someone with business sense. See, now she's on my I side. I beginning to think he was running some sort of beggar's guild over there. Faith. I don't have faith in anyone. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. Chance. You don't have that problem with me, Maven, I can promise you. I hope not. This is an important job. I have a competitor called Hunting Brew Meadery that I want to put out of business. Oh, why Hunting Brew? I want to know how they manage No, Hunting Brew had the corundum ore that really surprised me earlier in the run and got me really excited. So I don't I don't know if I want to hurt them. Head to the Bannered Mare in White Run and look for Malice Machias. He'll fill you in on all the details. One more time, in case I wasn't clear. You butcher this job, and you will be sorry. I kind of do want to butcher this job. Protect yourself. This is going to take us all the way back to Whiterun. I guess we could take a carriage there. I think it would be fair to take a carriage from Rift into Whiterun because we've been in both cities. Should I butcher it? Oh, you know what I do need to do is sleep. And they've got Rift in there. <laughs> I kind of want to fuck up the mission. I think it would be fun. Give me one sec. I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick, chat. I got to run to the little gamer's room. I'll be back. Two seconds.
I'm back. I'm back. Oh, fuck. We're good. Oh, I thought I was going to knock over my water. What are you doing? Quit spamming. Yes, I did wash my hands. We're learning to count. Are you trying to make them go in order? My hands are washed. Very clean. I forgot what the name of the uh, actual smell is. Did I wash my hands well? I washed them well enough. Did I use soap? I did. That I did. Okay, so we go back to Riften. Hmm. Uh, I do want to get to the ebony mine. Should we should probably stay objective focused here. Now that I think about it, I mean quests would be fun. All right, we'll do this last quest. We have to start that timer. We'll do this last quest for the thieves guild, and then we're gonna get back on the grind. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. You ready to go yet? Did I really wash my hands or did I just stand there and watch them wash each other? That's a deep. Very deep. Guys, cut it, cut it. Can you stop the counting? It makes chat kind of hard to read. Thank you. I appreciate it. It was fun. It was a fun little intermission. I think my game's breaking. I think my game's tired of my shit. Oh my god, what is going on? We just need to load and reload. <laughs> I've had that one happen a couple times. What do you need? Have you met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. Okay, we'll spend the night here. I really wish these flowers would respawn. I ain't done nothing. I didn't accuse you of anything. Now I just feel like you did do something. Come on in. Just stoke the Wouldn't you be a little bit suspicious if you met someone and the first thing they ever said to you is, Huh? It wasn't me. I promise. What can I get you? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'm paying a I lot in rent. Room, right this way. Need anything else? Just On this stream, I've already paid like 400 in rent. Like, I've made zero money. We've made no progress. I mean, we've made a little. I'm gonna go Magicka. I think our Magicka needs a little bit of a buff. One-handed damage would be decent. Should probably improve our damage output. Where are we at for alchemy? 46. Yeah, let's take Alchemist. Don't even think about it. About taking Alchemist? What do you have against that perk, Holda? It's a good perk. Why am I leaving I gold? Uh, because my... I, I made a new rule at the start of this character that... Inns cost 100 gold to stay at. Instead of just 10 gold. It's a little bit more balanced. It keeps us in check. Nice. If there's anything I can help you with, you have but to ask. Do I not have any restore stamina? It's purple mountain flower. 
Purple Mountain Flower Base. No, I'm just going to guess with a lot of the Purple Mountain Flower ones. Orange Dart Wing. Resist Frost. It's decent XP, but no. I think White Cap is for Magicka. Does Blue Butterfly Wing go with Purple? No, I didn't think so. Purple and Butterfly Wing? No. Bear Claws. Bear Claws are Stamina. What about Blue Dart Wing? Damn. Now I'm just picking random ones. Moritap and Ella. That's what we need. Our potions are pretty good now. 54 points. Our restore potions are good. Except I'm getting like no XP for these. You'll find tonics. Why not just use the wiki for this? I mean, I've used it for some of it, but like, I'm not going to spend a significant portion of the run just delving into the wiki constantly. Because then it would just get, then I would spend, I would spend too much time just reading the wiki rather than trying to figure things out in the game. Where are those? Did I not just make? Fabs, poultices, and potions on my shelves. Oh, okay. I think those are the ones I just crafted. We're up to 208. We can carry 42 pounds. Not too bad. Salmon row. We did salmon row last stream. Last stream, we collected a bunch of it. That's how we got our alchemy upwards of close to 50. We need That's iron crazy. ore. More inside. Random ingot? No. What can I craft? We got to get back onto smithing. I need to check my inventory. Hold on. I've got a good amount of steel. Tons of leather strips. 16 pounds worth of leather strips. I don't even need 160. Don't really need hide anymore, do I? So we've got corundum ingot, corundum ore, ebony ingot. A ton of steel ingots. I really just need iron. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in white one. Because our smithing level isn't that high. Yeah, we, that's what I mean. We need to get iron transmute to silver at first because the gems that we have are easier to make jewelry with silver and then transmute to gold. But I have a lot of gems on me that I'd like to use for jewelry. There's definitely another mine out this way. I banned camping because it would... No, camping's not banned. I just don't want to carry around the wood logs. They take up a lot of weight. Or the camping supplies itself is about nine pounds. Which I guess could be worth it. I've been having a fine time <laughs> just wandering around and then running back to town. We have enough stamina to where we can sprint a lot. Ah, shoot. I need to get arrows. I keep forgetting them. We got to come back out here and kill some deer. But yeah, this portion, until we get past this fort, most of the uh, resources are going to be dried up. Like this one. Could you stream Kingdom Come Deliverance sometime? I would love to. That would be a ton of fun. 
And honestly, after this challenge, maybe we will. Because I'll, I'm, I'm going to certainly need a bit of a break from Skyrim after this challenge. Because we've done... Oh my gosh, how many streams in a row have we done Skyrim? It's been a lot. Maybe 10, 12, 14 streams. It's been a lot. We did the random quest. That was all Skyrim. We've done all of these streams, which is about five in a row. So that would make it about nine. And then before, what was before? Before that, it was Fallout 3. We did Point Lookout. But after Point Lookout, I did the Soulstime video. That we didn't stream because those streams were from a while ago. Subnautica? Uh, maybe. I've never actually played it. If I had to pick one of those two, I would definitely pick Kingdom Come because I think I could turn that into a video for the main channel bef way before I could do something for Subnautica. Kingdom Come Deliverance is absolutely region lockable. In terms of like a region lock score that Kingdom Come gets, it's like a 10 out of 10. Ever heard of Albion Online? I had. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I played it before. It's kind of like a point and click. It's a super small game, right? I think it's fairly popular. It's. I think I very briefly played it one time. I like how I got rid of the leather when I was in town just to grab more leather when I'm out here. I'm a creature of habit. Quicksilver. Yes, that's huge. Quicksilver's a big find. We're gonna need it when we have 50 smithing. Do you prefer a game where you can make a challenge for yourself? Um, I prefer a game that has a fun sandbox. Usually a game that has a really fun sandbox, you can make your own challenges in, right? Like think about Grand Theft Auto 5. If you wanted to make a challenge for yourself in Grand Theft Auto, you totally could. Um, obviously, Bethesda open worlds are all great sandboxes and great for just making up your own objectives and whatever, because the combination of physics brainless but lightly scheduled npc behavior and all of it just kind of comes together and having like individual items placed throughout the map like plates and bottles and chairs and all that kind of shit but it's still like when i was playing um i guess yeah when i was playing kingdom come deliverance i wasn't focused on the main story really i was a little bit but I had this, you know, sort of plan in my head like, oh, I'm going to go after like this one skill and train this one thing and become a master at it. Or I'm going to stay in this one town for a little bit and just knock people out behind bars and steal all their stuff. Be a little bit of a thief. I like that shit. But I mean, there's nothing wrong with the game being kind of straightforward or not having a super fun or fun's not the right word, but... A really totally just lost my train of thought main point though anything with a fun sandbox sign me up so I would probably enjoy Zelda even though I've never played it I've never actually owned a Nintendo console in my whole life Never owned an N64. We had PS1. Never had a GameCube. We got the original Xbox. I was playing Kenshi last night, Squedge. 
I have a save that I've been playing on for a while. Kenshi is fun. It's also pretty addicting and super monotonous at times, but it is fun. This is Brittleshin Pass, I believe? Yeah, North Brittleshin. Dangerous to pass through there. I think there's a camp right here from AE. How difficult are- I feel like, yeah, these enemies are high level. Are they seducers? Like, I think the Saints and Seducers enemies are super OP, but these just might be regular bandits. No, they've got the gold equipment and whatnot. I don't know if I want to risk it. I think I'll avoid them for now. Keep looking for iron ore up here. God, if I died to anniversary content that I wasn't expecting or that I just forgot was in a certain spot, I would be super upset. Then I might get close to tears. Snake. I'm just gonna guess that they're all two. <laughs> of course they are. Nice. Free destruction level up. Resist shock. I'm going to favorite that potion just in case of emergency. It could really come in handy. 30% as well. That could save our life. Because shock damage all times I've encountered it has been pretty rough. You know what we're gonna do chat somebody mentioned it earlier in chat and they're 100 right we have to do some leather crafting i'm finding way too much leather to not do it oh. foos is gonna be yeah this is how a real nord hunts Hit him with foos. Get him stumbling. Light him on fire. Whoa. Beautiful. Magic, not a true Nord. Oh, you know what? I'm trying my best, okay? Remember when you said if you watch the Twitch and the VODs, you're overpowered? You are the most overpowered people on the stream. If you're a VOD enjoyer and a Twitch supporter, then sky's the limit. You've reached max level. I gotta remember Mudcrab Chitin. Next time I make potions. Because I have a ton of the mountain flowers. And at this point, I have a shit ton of chitin. Thalmor up there, gonna avoid them. Scary, spooky. Not a fan of them at all. Plus their cringe, plus ratio. You watch me gritty? You have never seen me gritty once. Stevie, I, I forgot you were counting all the uh, butterflies. Are we really at 70? Now I'm starting to feel bad. The weight of my butterfly murder is... <laughs> it's weighing on me heavily. Eh, not really. I need them. Lofi, you're here from the VOD channel. How are you? This has been a fun period of peace between nations. Eventually, we will go to war. But for now, for now, we'll be all right. Wait until I go live on the uh, VOD channel. Should I do that one day? Just do the stream on the VOD channel 
and not elaborate. Ooh, okay. All right. He sees us. He's not happy. He's certainly upset. He has plenty of right to be upset. I am perched, looking at him like a predator. I've got two arrows. Let's make use of one. Not a stealth archer. See, I'm not actually be hidden, so you can't call me a stealth archer. We'll go Berserker Rage. Just realized I'm out of healing potions. Not a disaster yet. We'll go Unrelenting Force, get that back on. Stumble. Saber Cat down! Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm very happy. Very proud of myself. That's a huge hurdle. Saber cats, if you're able to take them on relatively easily, it opens up the map just a tad for us. So we can explore this area a bit more freely. Though, damn. That visual filter is rough. Reformed Stealth Archer. That's right. I'm changing my ways. Can carry 10 more pounds. Beehive? The... What was the gamble? That I would die within an hour? How do you got- how are there non-believers right now? Whoa. How is there a single non-believer in chat? If you saw how the stream ended yesterday, I think it was pretty clear that I'm in great form right now. And I'm not gonna let any bullshit get me. I'm taking my time, I'm well prepared. We streamed for seven hours yesterday! If that's not a sign at how much time I'm taking and how slow I'm taking this, how methodical I'm being about it, how calculated I am. How focused I am, how efficient I'm being. If you haven't been clued in now at this point... <laughs> well, it's time to get a clue. Alright, true, Skyrim BS could get me. There's always that lingering dark force hiding behind, you know, the leaves. That's just peering onto my playthrough the whole time, just barely looking through. And it's that Skyrim bullshit just waiting to huh, wait for the perfect moment to launch. I should be finding more ore out here than I am. Does this cave up here have ore? Oh. No, come back. I miss shooting the deer. We gotta get back to that. I'm, trust me, I'm not too comfortable. If I was too comfortable, I definitely would have gotten killed back at the Blackbriar place. Although we know, chat, all right, time to test your knowledge. We're running into a bandit camp right now. Okay. What could we run into in this bandit camp that may end our playthrough? There you go, Caustic. Caustic wins, bandit chief. There we go. You are learning. Okay. 
the two-handed demon is gonna be in here so yeah we're in white run hold it's easy we just killed a uh what's it called we killed a saber cat we're feeling really confident i'm excited but we're about to enter a cave it's gonna be close quarters he's gonna have assistance he could also have a bandit thug or he could have a bandit bandit outlaw those are both upgraded over the first one and are gonna do decent damage we have to make sure that we're not fighting the bandit chief 2v1 or 3v1 god forbid 3v1 red rounds retreat this is also a bounty quest that we picked up so if we're able to get through this we'll collect some nice change there's the dog we have to sadly kill the dog we had a run end here sorry i'm really i don't like burning a dog alive Level one bandit. We should be plenty of health potions. I mean, a shit ton of health potions. Stamina potions as well. Just to play it safe, I'm going vegetable soup. But he's gonna be back here. Definitely more than one enemy. Regular bandit, not a bandit chief. So we've got an extra. There's the bandit chief. Okay, one down. They can still do decent damage, but they'll be super squishy. She looks stuck. And it's a circular room. Any traps? Only one handed. Stumble, hit, hit. Stumble, no stumble but she's not doing a ton of damage. I don't know what that enchantment she has is though. I think it's stamina. Yeah. It is, she's taking a lot of our stamina. Finally, I get a stumble. Is the tide turning? Is the tide turning? We just kicked a bandit chief's ass relatively easily I didn't need a whole lot to do it might run the farm on a cliff above behind the farm you know what fuck it I want to go after a treasure chest not before I do a quick sweep any iron ore in here No ore. Oh, Sims, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you, kind sir. Let me double check, because I did step away for a second earlier. Let me double check, make sure I'm caught up on the alerts. I think something might be going on with my alerts, but I'm not sure. Don't worry, I'm not I'm not getting too cocky. I'm making sure of it. In fact, I went into that fight almost over prepared. It was much more of an ass kicking than it could have been because I went in so cautious. I even took vegetable soup to prepare for it. Stay humble. True. Um, close. We're almost overweight. Save ourselves a few pounds. I'm kind of bummed. I really thought we would find iron ore in here. We got the bounty at least. Oh man, I was convinced that was an ore vein. Why you gotta, don't do me like that. What are fun challenges similar to this one? Honestly, I would just try this one. One random dragon encounter and it's all over. 
Oh God, I forgot that we can actually get attacked by dragons. How have we lucked out and not had a single dragon encounter this whole time? Because if I get caught by a dragon, and let's say I'm really tired and really hungry, I have no food, it's over. Oh, it is so game over. That just made the urgency... Whoa. Okay, I'm a little bit more urgent now. No, you bastard. How'd you... Got him? There we go. Whoa. Triple kill. Try deer murder. All right, let's head back. We got plenty to make a bunch of leather stuff. It's not going to make us a lot of XP, but it's going to get us XP. We'll burn off some weight, too, by doing that. Because I am carrying about 16 pounds worth of leather strips. We've got almost no iron. I have to save my steel Thank bars, too. Time, I can't sir. use my steel ingots. Sir Brando, I appreciate you. Thank you very much for the tier one. Although you interrupted me and I was in the middle of describing my strategy. So rude. Nah, I'm just kidding. Thank you. You cut your finger opening a plastic box? Skill issue. Silver ore. Nice. Nice ore. I'm just kidding, Ellie. <laughs> I'm, I hope you get better soon. It's not a skill issue. It happens. I've cut myself before, too. This is where all my weight's coming from. It's all this crap. Running a tiny bit low on food, not too bad. Those aren't my arrows. Those are for me getting shot. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. We go down to the silver ore, drop it. As long as we can get up to six silver. I'm not really using any mods. I mean, I'm, I'm using Sky UI. Beyond Skyrim Bruma is installed, but I'm not really using it. Other than the occasional item. That's pretty much like the sword I'm using. It's from Beyond Skyrim Bruma, but it's the same stats as a regular steel sword. We got plenty of leather. My hope right now is that we get to 40 smithing. Then we're going to start getting pretty close. No, you don't. Oh, yeah, I'm the psychopath who broke a bunch of laws in Riften and ran away. Thank you, kind sir. I already paid for my crimes. Juve leave, Juve can't leave, can't. Anyway, thanks for the amazing content, Juve. Best streamer ever. W, thank you for spending 14 months here. Why am I making leather strips? I don't need them. 
Thank you very much. I appreciate that. How you doing, W? How's your week been? I have no clue what I just made. Tell me I didn't waste any of my steel ingots. Okay, I didn't. Good. That's all I care about. Oh, we did make a Colovian fur helm. Unfortunately, we won't be wearing it today. Oh, we saved some weight by turning the Quicksilver ore into ingots. What did we get up to? Smithing is now 38. You did it. We're getting there. I think we have another level up. I'm going to go stamina. Once more, I'm going st Oh, gosh. Should I? Yeah, I think I am going to go stamina again. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Well met, I enjoy well. this work well. Are you joking? You just mm. rented a Yes, free rent. Need anything else? Just Hell yeah. Love when the rent doesn't expire. Let's go to the next day. Go collect our bounty. We go stam. I need I need heavy armor 40. Fists of steel. No, we got that. We don't need any heavy armor perks. What about one handed? Take a damage buff. I'm going to take a damage buff. Certainly worth it to take it. Well met, traveler. Not going to talk to that guy because he wants to get us hammered. Open, uh, Balin, are you talking about open cities? That is, and if you enjoy the mod, that's great. But um, I think it's one of the worst mods to have installed. Open cities, it's super, super buggy. It n has never worked. It's caused more issues for me on most of my playthroughs than any other mod I think I've ever used. It just breaks a lot. It's cool. When it works, it's really cool. But it's not really necessary. But it is sweet. When you, like, open up the gate and you're able to go in right away. If you're never- if, if you never have any issues with it, hell yeah. We're talking to get scritch out of the way. You were in a fancy place and you're being rude. You didn't even do your hair. You just kept yourself all bedraggled. Another wanderer here to lick my father's boots. Good job. I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Come on, 500 gold. Here's your reward. A hundred. Oh my god, he paid- okay, great. Here's your reward for taking out that notorious bounty. You get one night of rent. I gotta take out one bandit per day in order to live here. That's the cost. The only grown-ups who talk to me are the kind I don't want talking to me. Alright, let's go check out Haunting Broom Meadery now. We can investigate it for the Thieves Guild. This is gonna be the last Thieves Guild quest we do. I'm totally gonna fuck it up if I can. Any diseases? Nope, just peckish. What's the effect of peckish? 10% slower attacks. Man, that is... That's a tough debuff. I don't know how we can mess the quest up, but if we can, I totally want to. But after this Thieves Guild quest, y'all, I think we're ready. I think we're ready to start moving towards Falkreath. And then once in Falkreath, we will have to do the quest to become Thane. I'm sure 
in order to do it, there's going to be one or two really tough difficulty spikes. It's not a gimme. The two guys at the entrance give out 500 gold. In Whiterun? And we'll come across the gold. I feel like I'd rather acquire my gold via killing things or completing a quest. Like, we got 100 right there. I'll take it. We got 2464 in the bank. We're slowly moving towards the 5,000 we need. Oh crap, the treasure chest. Yeah, I want to find that bad boy. It's behind this farm. Up on a ledge back here. Let me see that bad boy again. Yeah, facing that way. Right here. Mm, there's no way. No, it's 100% this farm right here. Yeah, Pelagia Farm. Oh, I thought you were saying it was a different farm. It's got to be this one. This path implies that whoever buried this treasure up here or hid it up here had to mountain climb their way. The road to the right and there's a point. Where is there a point? I don't see a point. Right here. Found it. Gosh, I'm so good. See, all my Red Dead Redemption experience is really coming in handy now. Fingers crossed we don't get jumped by something crazy, though. I feel like it would be right here. There's two X's. Black X is... Black X is the mill. Loop around. Land here on a point. Which is this literal point right here. It's got to be this point, right? Come on, how am I missing this? I do FOV 90-90. Let's see if it works. It's up more. Vampire dust and mud crab chitin makes cute disease potions. Wait, they're cute? Like they're the little ones? I like the bite-sized potions. This is just the regular path now back to Riverwood. Oh my gosh, this is a total shortcut. Like, look at that, that little spot right there. That looks, that looks like a chest goes in right there like a Lego piece, doesn't it? Up more in the snowy area.
I'm probably going the wrong way. Yeah, now I definitely am going the wrong way. It's out this way. And if we look at the map... Curves around. It's further up and west of where I thought it was. There's no way it's up this way, right? Check the map versus my- I am! I'm- it's like the same thing! Oh my fuck, I can't even open up the map now! Okay, it's a little bit more west according to the drawn map. Down. Keep going. Got it! Found it! Yep, all my RDR2 experience really paid off. And we got a ruby? Bound Battle X Silver Ingot? Mmm! That was a nice little chest. We love it. We love free ore. Because with Thank the you, ruby, we can now make a gold necklace. Good guy, Elk. Thank you so much for the prime, and apologies for murdering a lot of of your elk brethren during this playthrough. You have 50 cure disease and over 90 health potions. Mud crabs and vampire dust. Are they worth a lot? How much are they worth? Whoa. No way. Oh, what a choke. There's no stamina regen when you're cold. Hit the tree, get confused. Whoa. Gotcha! You fell for my trap! This is like the least ethical way of killing an elk. Like, imagine the pushback if you went deer hunting with a flamethrower. That would piss off everyone in existence because a you're basically torturing the thing to death and b you're in the middle of a forest hunting you're probably gonna burn the whole forest down like nobody wins in that scenario everyone loses gotta be careful i don't want to shout the guard can you guys make use of yourselves and kill the deer please we need all of its resources You only know me as the bane of all elk existence. Excuse me, officer, did you see an elk nearby? Rorikstead's a nice enough little hamlet, but I didn't ask you about Rorikstead. <gasps> yes, I love when we find free iron. Pretty soon here, we're going to collect every single available ore node. Flawless Amethyst? I think with the Flawless Amethyst, we can make another gold piece of jewelry. I want to be careful here. I don't want to transmute any silver ore. Oh, alteration. Nice of you to finally show up to the level party. The amount of ore I've transmuted. Only level 18 alteration. Where do I store my stuff? In my backpack. On my person. Other than that, nowhere. Okay, we've got two elk. One of them standing on top of a corundum ore vein. I will approach slowly. Swiftly? It's okay. Stay still. Stay still. You're all right. Catch the second one. Oh, what a double kill. What a counter. He switches targets like a professional. 
At a girl bear. While we're here, might as well just get some XP. Okay, seven leather's not a lot. <laughs> it's like nothing. But we can go smelter. Silver ingot. Steel ingot. I'll make one more. Unfortunately, none of the gold. Flawless ruby. What about flawless amethyst? Silver emerald. Silver jeweled? No, I've made that one before. Ah, I need two flawless amethyst, and then I can make the gold necklace. We're finding a good amount of crafting ingredients while out here, though. Going into different bandit caves and whatnot. Jeez. All the money I'm just leaving behind, throwing my jewelry away. No one can have it. Lots of iron veins around Dawnstar. Oh, wait. And also, inside of Dawnstar is a quicksilver mine. Okay. I think that should be our next trip. We'll go on a little field trip north to Dawn Star. I'm confident we can make that trip. I think I will get myself the supplies to build a camp. Because it's a bit of a trip from here to Dawn Star. Plus, we're going to have to go through the cold. It's a straight shot up north, though. We should be okay for the most part. I'll take a look at any food that I might be able to make for warmth. I don't know if there's a lot, but I could be able to make some. As we go north, though, we have to be really careful. Snow Saber Cat, Cold Debuff, those two in combination could get me killed. Mid-level Bandits, the Cold Debuff is going to really, really nerf us. So we got to be careful. I don't know why I'm heading back here. I'm going to be honest. I think I just wasted a bunch of time coming all the way back to town to cook and craft when I could have just done it at the place that I was. If you hold a torch, it helps with warmth. I have made hot soup, but I had to use it in an emergency earlier. I think it saved us. I'm not sure. Cicero is still available. We haven't done that. Drop it in front of a tor uh, Khajiit caravan. Do we, let me see if I have torches. I actually don't have any. I can pop my head into a bandit cave nearby and just grab the torch sconces. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone else. Malice is teaching me. Hmm. I don't care. Get off the cooking spit. It's my turn. Holder's the one to talk. Yeah, we're not making shit. Venison chop, that's it. Did my rent expire? Damn, it did. All right, I'm not paying rent then. I'll get the material for a camping tent, and then I'm getting out of here. I work for Bellathor at the General Goods Store. Please get up. Come by Bellathor's shop at the market. I'm sure we've got something you need. Please? Excuse me, sir. Scritch, can you do something? Don't mean to be rude, but I'm too busy to talk right now. You're doing a whole lot of talking for how busy you are, apparently. Get off the block. Yes. Get off. Let me make a tent. Come on. It's a trip up north. I'm going on a field trip. I need oh, did you need something? Dude, are you done? 
What can I do for you? Oh, did you need something? God damn it! Get off the block! Fuck I'm off! Bellator's shop at the market. I'm sure we've got something you need. Thank you. Now stay off my block. The nerve of some of these people. There's another block at the end? I want this one. I want this exact block. Yeah, that's right. Carry my wood back. Don't mean to be rude. But I'm too mean to be you approached me. I'm in the middle of working. You are being rude. Stop walking. Get out of the way. Mm. All right. I hope this axe hits him and takes him out. No, no. Okay, sure. Yeah, we'll do it again. This is just a practice round, Sigurd. Fuck's sake, now I'm carrying too much. What? Drop two. All right. I work with my mother, sell fruits and vegetables. No, you don't. You role play, you just pretend to work. All right, we got camping supplies. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Good afternoon. We can't carry that much. We're a little heavy. Let's see if I can burn some weight. Uh, I don't want to spend any steel. Ooh, that burned a lot of weight, actually. Look at the Alakir warriors. Why are you littering in here? It's not our town, but still. I knew the thugs were on the way. All right, they're here. Really, guys? This is a bad time. I'm about to go on an adventure, and I do not need your bullshit. But they carry a lot of gold, so it's worth killing them. But again, they're all wearing heavy armor. Just gotta keep an eye on our health the whole time. Big hit, big hit coming in. Just a scratch. All right, one down. Skyrim belongs to the Nords. Two down. Where's the third? One hundred gold. 200 gold and when this hired thug is dead who I'm going to cautiously light on fire for a lot of time because he's a two-handed demon it'll be 300 gold you know what I don't even want to waste potions I'm not going to waste any potions right now Scritch, Scritch, you're not involved in the fight. Got, see, you see what happens, Scritch, when you get involved? The enemy gets confident. They see Scritch. They realize that I might not be as tough. Look at that damage. Look at that damage from one hit. Nearly half health. What if, what if he initiated that next attack? Also, is this an NPC jumping? Show of hands, how many people have ever seen a Skyrim NPC jump? This is new, right? 
Okay, I don't think he was jumping. He oh my god, he jumped! Oh my god, he actually jumped! I've never seen that before. Oh, this is just like, what? Help! I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. He has the ability to jump. This isn't fair. Oh my god, he, he just did it. I've never seen it happen. This is the strongest bandit I've ever encountered. Nah, he wasn't that tough. He still died normally. Holy crap. Okay, my game, something is going on. The textures have glitched a few times. The orc strongholds are mad at me and put a bounty on my head. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, no, there's machine learning in my game right now. Somebody may gave the AI the ability to learn and adapt. I have never seen that in all my years of watching Skyrim content, making Skyrim content, playing Skyrim casually, talking to friends about playing Skyrim. Oh. I've never seen an NPC jump, but it, can somebody clip that and just like make sure? Cause that looked like a really genuine, he jumped. He saw an obstacle in his way. His brain calculated it and said, Brr, I will jump to clear the gap. Huh? And then he jumped. Yeah, the kill cam ragdolls have all been, uh, j I really forgot about these guys. Now, see, now it feels like a real survival game. Who's he fighting? Oh, he's fighting the sick guy who's just gonna vomit on him. <laughs> That's your go-to? Oh no, a dragon is attacking, quick. Make sure you violently puke all over his face. Looks like he did good damage though. He's bleeding. Don't fly towards me. No, 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 please, you're, you're, uh, oh, I would rather you not. Shit, he does frost damage as well. Caught out in an open field. Guard tower. We gotta get to the guard checkpoint. It's gonna be the safest strategy for us right now. Is that corundum ore? Ooh, piece of candy? We found more corundum ore. Do I have time to mine this? Yeah, he just landed. Go, 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 go. <laughs> mine like you've never mined before. I need to learn how to tick mine. It's a runescape strategy. I don't know what he's attacking. It could be giants. Do I have resist frost? Let me see. I have resist shock. I don't have resist frost. He's gonna come towards us. We gotta get to the tower. Not now, Mr. Wolf. Bigger matters to attend to. Oh man, I was not expecting him to be right over my shoulder. Again, Scritch, ever since you got here, it's been nothing but bullshit. Here we go. I don't have arrows. Get him, guard. You can hit the shot. Come on. I'll pull the trigger. Don't get cold feet now. Because he's coming. <laughs> he's coming. Healing. Let's just get this equipped. We're going to need it. Oh my god, they've done no damage to it. Yeah, yeah, talk that shit. All right, he's landing. Come on, get off a shot. Pull the trigger, dude. Dude, he's laying down. Okay, these guards actually suck. Also, there's only two of them. They can't beat a dragon. He's flying away. Cicero's right up here on the farm. Maybe I can get away from him. 
This farm can at least exist as a safe point. If the dragon's nearby, I can go inside the farm. They'll think I'm trespassing, but if they don't want me in their house that badly, I'll just kill them. And if guards attack me, I'll leave and let the dragon fight the guards. <laughs> Should be in the clear. Okay. Didn't I help Cicero this run? We did on an earlier character, and then we died. Ah! Oh, I'm taking mother to undo. Go. Ah, to fix my yeah, we'll do this real quick. Because I'll collect the cash from Cicero gonna be a good bump by the time we get to Falkreath maybe we'll need to collect 1500 oh, 2000 up. gold huh. why can't he just leave us alone have you seen and he's transport he could have anything in there war contraband weapons school what and just who in Mara's name yes look um easy all right 250 gold Cicero your savior has arrived your savior is also going to run away from this area as fast as possible because the flying demon is coming to kill me. You. Here, here for your Shiny, clinky gold. Thank you. It's not a very good idea for me to push forth, is it? Sister. Oh shit, there's a dragon. 400? Okay, I thought it would be 250. It definitely scaled up because of our level. So now we're at 3192. 1900 gold, save for probably another 500 to 1000. Oh my god, we're already cold. Already chilly. I should probably save my stamina in case I do get into a fight. You know, if I'm sprinting around, waste all my stamina, and then get jumped by something, why am I- I don't know why I'm quick saving. doesn't make a difference. All right, Dawnstar, straight shot north. Stick to the road. We stay on the road. We should be okay. Don't be an ice wraith. It's an ice wraith. It's a fucking ice wraith. There's an ice wraith inside that tree trunk. Absolutely cannot fight one of them right now. Oh yeah, he's coming. Whoa. This is bad. Ice rays are really bad. We still have 11 stamina potions. Oh my god, I can barely keep distance from him. NPC, right up ahead. Save me, sir, please. Gotta keep him at distance with a shout. Whoa. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We're cold, so our stamina is going to be filling up slowly. Health is reduced 10% slower. Actually, our stamina will still refill at the same rate. Where'd that guy go? You! Afflicted refugee? Oh, it is. Yes, please, go. Use your vomit attack. Save our lives, we gotta go. Please tell me he can kill it. Actually, I don't care. He doesn't need to kill it. He just has to distract it long enough for me to get the fuck out of there. This isn't fun anymore. I'm no longer having fun. What was that? I think a spider just spit at me. Oh, man, don't do that ever. Uh-uh. No. Oh, more spiders. Beautiful. Let's just stick to the road. It's going to be safe. Right? There's no dangers on the road. It's easy. I don't like our max health being this low. What is it at? 126 more oh my god they're snipers I keep hearing scritch 
cooing? What's that noise that cats make? But I keep hearing that noise and I think it's an enemy nearby or like something crawling up on me. You are drained. Now we're in trouble. Can we set up camp here? Okay. I'm nervous. Fourteen hours of sleep. We eat some food. Let's warm up. Campfire's not really helping. We're not, we're not warming up. Okay, now we are. It took a couple seconds. A purr. Churtle. Chirp. It's all the same. We get past this fort, and it's a straight shot. We're gonna get shot at from the fort, though. Definitely gotta take some ore on the way. I took a wrong turn. I think we should still be good. I think the roads should still take us to Dawnstar. I'm a god. Whoa! How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zerabar. Ink Demon, thank you so much for gifting five subs to the community. It's very kind of you. I appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Also, hello. It's just Jake. Yeah, this fort blocks the entire road. Whoop. Hi, stranger. Whoop. Hi, bandit. Whoop. Just passing by. Ooh, bandit thug? Yeah, I'm out of here. This road should go like this. It should cut around and then turn and go straight north. Or I could just take the mountains. I might just go the Skyrim route and go straight there. Already cold. There's a house up here. Don't remember if it's a friendly house or not, but we might as well check it out. Could be a safe little checkpoint on the way to Dawnstar. It is absolutely not a safe point on the way to Dawnstar. It is on fire, though. Gotta be careful. Torch. That's right. I forgot everybody said to use a torch because it'll warm me up. We're getting close. We're gonna probably hit one, maybe two more enemy encounters on the way there. As long as we can stave off some of the cold with the torch, should help us out. What are these people doing? Why are they all charging into the giant's camp? The giant did nothing wrong. Hey! Come on, guys. Leave him alone. He's minding his own business. I hope he squashes your whole group. Wait a minute. Pause, 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 pause. There's ice race here. There's an ice wraith spawn just north of me. Right in this area. I remember from a recent challenge we did, I forgot which one. It was one of the door randomizer ones, 
but there's a hundred percent an ice raid spawn just north of that giant camp i remember watching the bandits attack i remember getting attacked by the ice rays and not being able to get away because i was running too slow i can see the docks straight shot i gotta just turn and burn no regular wolves okay not bad if it's an ice wolf though we're in trouble that's what we have to be really careful of don't want to use too much sprint but man we're right there come on there's no carriage at Dawnstar, is there? I'm gonna be marooned here for a little bit. We get through Dawnstar, though. We get some ore. We hit the level that we want to. We get back to Riften. We hit the Ebony Mine. We get our Nordic carved armor. We hit Falkreath. Bing, bang, boom. We're there. Someone's attacking Dawnstar. Is it vampires? Is this a vampire attack? 100%. Yeah, it is. You're running away, right? You're not hostile. Do you want to talk? We can talk about it. Come on. I'm sure Dawnstar's great. They'll forgive you. You just have to sleep in a bed for a couple days and then your crime's forgiven. It's only one week for murder. How many tries are... This is our third character. We've been on this character for roughly the amount of time that's over my head. Oh, okay. We made it. Yes. Want to play tag? Need something? Oh no. Another one? They're dead. My pa was a sailor. Took me with him on his last trip. After he got sick. Yeah, okay, I don't care. Put us off here and I'm here to make money, kid. Now listen to your problems. <laughs> Even he's excited. Whoop, got to run. There are two mines in town. We don't need Quicksilver yet. We also don't need that much Quicksilver. Let's double check tanning rack. Spend some of our leather. We got to get rid of some. With all the iron inside the mine, we're probably not going to be able to hit 50 smithing unless. No. We'll have to transmute a bunch of it into silver. There's ore on the on the road. Hey, I was more worried about getting here in one piece. We did find some iron ore, not a lot. Okay, you're you're taking too long. Get off. Been working in iron breaker since I was a boy. You better be done by the time I'm done over here. I work quickly. I'm used to this. My mining level is much higher than everyone else's. You can equip the pick and attack mine? Nope. We cannot. I didn't craft the uh, pickaxe. Therefore, I may not wield it. Here to dig. That's all. Come on, man. Get off the fucking... A good... Yes? Need some? Hmm? Pissing me off, Gak. Getting on my nerves. I didn't craft the torch either. Shut up. <laughs> Lay off, all right? It's my rules. I like this, though. I like when we're mining. It's easier to catch up on chat. M Orange. Uh, Bear Grylls is indeed alive.
I think this is all we're getting out of this one. It's not enough. <clears throat> How's my day? My day's going well. If I'm streaming and we're making progress on the challenge and we haven't died, then my day is going great. Um, but we are passing the point of no return with this character. I thought I'd let you all know. This is the point of no return. If this character does indeed unfortunately die in some stupid fashion, then the challenge is over. So from this point on, whoa, it is pure permadeath. If we die, challenge ends, and I'm going to have to upload another failed challenge onto the channel. And that would be sad, wouldn't it? I should take that exact quote and put it into the video. Finally, he moved on. About time. Let the real workers take care of it. If I were to do a challenge in Kingdom Come Deliverance, what would it be? Kingdom Come Deliverance without leaving Rite. And it would be the island that Rite lies on in Kingdom Come. Because if you look at the map while you're playing Kingdom Come, Rite is isolated to a, a piece of land that has a forest. It's got uh, an entire river that cuts it off from the re rest of the map that moves north and south. There's tournaments there via one of the DLC expansions. There's a handful of quests. You can go on a date. Uh, you can learn how to... You gain the ability while you're in Rite to launder stolen items or pawn steal stolen items. I don't remember the term. I must be out of silver ore. What am I doing? Did not mean to do that. There's a smelter right there. I'm going to say a smelter in town. Subnautica without going into the water. I don't think I've played enough Subnautica to know what to do, though. I mind. Both the smelter. Ain't much else to tell. If I get any red soon. I swear, is there no end to these uncouth savages? Just trash wherever they please. Oh, yeah, I'm not throwing around trash, okay? It's silver ore, it's valuable. I wonder if the Quicksilver mine has silver ore, or if it's just Quicksilver. Damn, that only got us to 41. It's gonna be a little bit before we can hit 50, unfortunately. I feel like I might've come up here a bit too soon. Quicksilver mine is the best mine in Dawnstar. And you Let's just go all iron. Let's see what the daggers get us. Everybody always says daggers are the fastest. Let's just see. Uh, yeah, kinda. 
that was a pretty good rate to go up an entire level just for that iron that we had where transmuting it was taking quite a long time that was pretty quick and now we can just burn all this weight that we don't have or that we don't need drop our shit Yeah, but it, it, since we're on survival, it's going to take a really long time and a lot of resources for us to transmute all of it. Silver. I'm definitely going to need some Quicksilver. How many? I have six Quicksilver ingots. That might be all we need for Nordic. I think I'll play it safe, though, and pick up a few more Quicksilver ingots before I leave. Just to be safe when we make the whole set. Listen, I told you to get out of my face. I'm in the middle of working. Do not interrupt an artesian. Thank you. This kid's going to need to wear a hard hat when he's older. Plenty of quick silver to dig. Not really. You guys are hogging it all. She's not even hitting anything. Edith is just pretending. <laughs> Ah, uh, nice. Moon Fairy, no worries. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the content. I appreciate the kind words. Come on. This one's being a little uneasy. See, this is just like in RuneScape. I'm not I'm not leaving. I'm letting it go. I'm putting my foot down. I'm not losing to a quicksilver ore vein. Okay, I lost. I'll hang my head in shame as I leave. I think that'll be more than enough, though, to make the Nordic carved set. Yeah, Quicksilver, my ass. That took forever. They say that vampires attacked the whole of the Vigilant. To the ground. Never heard of vampires doing anything like that before. All right, Dawnstar's a bit of a bust. We can either head back the way we came or go to Solitude. Solitude gets pretty dangerous. We're going to be on the coast. It's probably safer to go back the way we came. How many days have passed? 14? We're on to week number three. Fast travel's not allowed because we're on survival mode. We can take a, um, what's it called? A carriage, but there's no carriage in Dawnstar. We could get the barnacles on shore, but I don't think we need alchemy as much anymore. The basic healing potions we're able to make are pretty good. It's all the way up to 50-ish, 60 health, magic, stamina, etc. I did just use a lot of my magic potions there. That was kind of a waste. Let's take the same route back. 
There's a boat. You're right. We could take the boat from Dawnstar to Windhelm. And then Windhelm. We're already close. If we take the boat from Dawnstar to Windhelm, we're going to be close to the Ebony Ore Mine, which I'm going to have to get to eventually. The orcs are pissed off at me, though. So what's going to happen? I'll pay them a fine? I actually have a bounty with the orcs. I don't think I've ever had a bounty with them. <laughs> what the hell? I can't get away with anything on this run. Wait, why Solitude? Did I come up with this idea? I... Kind of. Yeah, I don't know why we would go to Solitude. We should go to Windhelm. What did I do to the orcs to earn a bounty? So, I was trying to save the orcs. I was trying to help them because they were under attack by a giant. And then when I tried to dragon shout the giant, unfortunately... An orc was downed no right next to the giant, and my shout killed the orc. I did not murder them in cold blood. All right, these, no. Relax with the accusations. I did nothing wrong. I'm, we're stopping by Windhelm. We're going to hop in the inn, get a nice little sleep, chill here for a bit, and then head south. Also, as we head south from here, we should run into some resources that maybe we need. I'm an orc. That's why I was going to I was going to help my people. And instead, they turned their backs on me. The only savior of that whole base. And I'm the one that they don't like. I'm Welcome. Oh, let me know if you want anything. I think I've got a clean. This here's can. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Enjoy your stay. And don't break nothing. There you go. I'm like the tooth fairy. Or I'm paying them like they had a tooth fairy visit. <laughs> he just wanted to see what's up. Scritch wanted to sleep over. I left him out in the hallway, but he's begging for it. He's like, come on. Let me at the end of the bed. I made my fortune. Oh. I'm the cook of the candles and pots. And you refuse to help the storm cook. The townsfolk call me captain because I used to be a sailor. Hey, maybe the reason these grayskins don't help them. Or I don't haggle. You want a lower price. All right, let's head south. We'll pass. Uh, we'll pass that one village on the main story that Delphine takes it to. Probably an ore or something right there. Ore vein, wolves. Maybe are there any ice wolves? I don't know if we'll see ice wolves. Ice wolven. check this farm for wheat oh it is a wheat farm nice we love that give me all of your grain thank you yep I'm actually putting in hard work here thanks for collecting all of our wheat now hand it over and I'll pay you nope I'm out Thank you, kind sir. Follow Mannequin. Thank you so much for the tier one. There are two more wheat farms close by. I think we'll be all right for now. There's mud crabs nearby, though. 
That much I know for sure. Miller time, thank you. There's got to be some on our way down south. Dragon? Unless that's just ambient background noise. Sounded like I heard one roaring. Y'all hear that? Sounds like someone's moaning out there like the sky just got injured. Oh. Uh. Sounds like Chewbacca. Mm. Mm. Scanning. You see anything? You hear that? Here, there it is again. Sky Chewbacca is on his way to visit me. Gotta be some ore lying around here somewhere. I know you heard that one. There's no, oh yeah, no, I do a pretty decent Chewbacca. It's pretty easy, uh, that's a bear. Kinda wanna get his leather. There's so many bears in this area, I hate this place. I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I'm tired of running into bears. Can I run into any other animal? Actually, no, the monkey paw is going to curl and I'm going to get attacked by something crazy. Dear. I knew it. There is a dragon. Okay, let's avoid the word wall up there. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. I don't like the vibe of this place. Something bad's gonna happen. Maybe the ore is closer to the river. I feel like I found a ton of ore veins close to the water. It's a cave bear. It's a second bear. Oh. We don't mess with cave bears. We do not mess with cave bears. Can he swim? Please tell me the cave bear doesn't know how to swim. Is he afraid of water like everything else in this game? I'm going to take a gamble and guess that yes, he is. I knew it was a trap in there. I forgot about that place. There's that dragon. He's still hanging out. Shit. Now I'm just caught out stranded again. Oh, Scritch, I thought you were a really big fish. I'm going the complete wrong way. The orc stronghold is over here. Now I'm on the opposite end of the water because I'm afraid of a damn bear. Let's head north. Cut back across the river. Try to figure out where that orc stronghold is. I don't want to look it up. I want to find it.
Is that the same afflicted refugee from before? Are you finished ogling the grotesque? Dude, uh, you keep showing up on my path. I'm gonna ogle you every time I see you. It's a part of the game. Don't hate me, hate the rules. I never assigned this life to you. Yeah, that's not good. No more ore to be trans... Damn it. Can't transmute anymore. We got all the gold we can get. Watching, you made it. How are you? How was work? Long time VOD watcher, first time Netflix. How are you? Thanks for stopping in. There it is, Orc Stronghold. Got it. I don't think we need too much ebony for the Nordic carved armor set. Come on. Oh, you're not really gonna rock block me here, are you? <laughs> all right, oh my God, I could have just taken the normal path. I didn't have to get crafty with that at all. Okay, now when we get up there and when we reach the orc stronghold, we're going to apologize to them, sincerely. But man, is it gonna hurt. Because I was the only reason our other orc enclave even had a fraction of a chance to survive that battle. They were done, murdered, attacked by a giant, slaughtered the entire encampment and then i show up hero of the day i make one little mistake and it's my fault don't tell me they're immediately hostile if they're hostile right now by the code of malakath you must pay blood price for your crimes which will it be blood or gold gold Oh my fucking Jesus, you've got to be kidding me. You're railing me right now. Ten, what, a thousand? Ten hundred? Oh my God, it, it actually registered as full-on murder. You've got to be kidding me. Yatul, you know me. I wouldn't murder someone. Come on. What? What impression have I ever given you that I would murder? This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Huh. Huh. Okay. We'll test your metal another day. Oh my gosh, she just ate a third of my wealth. It's gone. All money welcome I've made on this entire stream eliminated. Well, thanks for having me. Do you guys have any heating? No. At least this isn't stealing. <laughs> It'd be funny if it was. By the code of Malakath, you fucked up again. Welcome, child of Malakath. Your kin bid you welcome to our stronghold. Thank you, Urug. You're no kin of mine, pig fa Okay, let's not say that. Let's not. We just got on their good graces again. Let's not say that. This is our stronghold. Here we are free to live as Malakath intended, away from the prying eyes of the Nords. And the bears. Must have been away There's no bears the here, right? For a long time to forget. Come, speak to the chief and the wise woman, and remember. The wise chief. Okay. All right, let's go see her. Are you the wise chief? The great stronghold. Narzalbur welcomes you, outsider. Narzalbur. Come to purchase ebony. Our gloombound mine runs thick with black banes. Yeah, we're going in there. We're going into the mines. But let, let's see if they have any work that needs to be done. How about a test? Your muscle against mine. The victor gains 100 gold coins from the loser. That's not a quest. 
I asked if you needed something to be done around camp, and they said, how about we just punch each other in the face repeatedly? <laughs> um, I, I just came here for some ore. I'm good. Soft. Just like all outlanders. I'm one of you! I'm an orc. Mm -hmm. My brother keeps trying I, to I truly don't belong here. This sucks. I'm going to get my ebony, and I'm getting out of here. Yeah, I bet these people would have survived if they weren't such douchebags. It is cool, though. I've never really come to one of these strongholds as an orc. Riccolum ore. Interesting. Sorry, or a calcum. Whatever happened to the pink Argonian? Oh, the pink Argonian is dead. Long gone. Slain in combat bravely by a two handed demon. She faced death very bravely. Is this ebony ore? It is. Get out of my way. I'm taking the ore. I don't care if they're my people. I don't care if this is my clan. It's no clan of mine. Thank you, Scritch, for not narking on me this time. Honestly, Scritch, you're starting to warm up to me. Things have been going our way a little bit better recently, and I feel like I was a bit harsh on you. So I would like to take this moment to say, Scritch, genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, I apologize. All right, sweet. We got the ebony ore. Let's get out of here with... N I don't want to get out of here with too, too much. I want to say I need five, maybe six ebony ingots to be safe. Then we need all of our focus to be on 50... Iron! There's iron ore in here! <gasps> oh! All focus is on 50 smithing after this. After we get 50 smithing, after we get all the ingredients we need for the Nordic carved armor, then I need to focus on getting a blacksmithing potion, possibly two. We drink that potion, we improve our Nordic carved, and we should be pretty safe. From that point on, we should be fairly safe. Strong. What do we have for ore? Eb, 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 eb. I should make more. A couple more veins. What's my favorite game ever? Probably Red Dead 2. But like if I, I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's tough to like pick one. I love a lot of games. Quicksilver. Oh, Quicksilver is how it's improved. We might have enough Quicksilver to improve it. Because we have nine ingots. I think he needs six for the set. We may have to go back to Dawnstar to get a little bit more. But overall, I think we're in good shape. Then once we get our armor set, once we're fully stocked up and... What do you want? Huh? You got something to say? Dad and me came to work the mine. Don't like how I'm mining? To get rich and then go back to and take over. Come on, tell me there's a few more Mount iron ore veins. Why is there oil everywhere? Ore to our like, this whole mine is about to explode. Check the forge. 
I got proposed one fist fight and became a real yeah now now I'm stealing all their ore. I'm too afraid to fight them. I am not pulling out a fire spell. Mahulak brought us in when he found Ebony in the mine. Not enough men in town to work it. So here we are. Should be enough ebony. Mmm, another. Let's go! I'm not that much of a rebel. I'm not gonna murder any more orcs. The last thing I need is for the orc strongholds to hate me because the rest of the game has tried to murder me more than enough times throughout this entire run. I would prefer a calm, peaceful ending to this whole entire thing. Let's just get out of here alive. Be careful. Fuh. Uh, what was that? Did everyone okay down there? See, this is why I need to leave. I'm gonna die on my mining expedition. If it's not the black lung that kills me, it's falling rocks. Ooh. Piece of candy. this way some of the iron ore veins are pretty hidden just want to make sure we're good okay now we got to get to smithing 50 I'm attached. Did I say that right? Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for the tier one. I think right now I want to head up north to Windhelm. Get back to Whiterun. Make some arrows in Whiterun. Hunt around Whiterun, hit some more crazy trick shots, collect a bunch of leather. Transmute, you know, all the while transmuting our iron ore into gold. Gold rings, leather armor, 50 smithing. We can do this. Especially if we find ore veins along the way, like this little fella. Every ore vein we find now is huge. Each one's going to help us out a ton. You got too stoned and fell asleep for an hour. I, okay. Well, hazy alien, thank you so much for stopping by again. Are you uh, are you having like foggy brain? You know, where you're like not sure what planet you're on. Trying to recollect yourself. You just took a crazy nap. It's always like the one hour, the should be 15 minute, but ends up being 90 minute naps where you wake up and you're like, whoa, what day is it? And then you look and, you know, only 90 minutes to two hours has passed. Those are the naps that get you. I appreciate it, Goose. Thank you. Four twenty is popular. Wait, Red Wolf, you work at a, a dispo or a smoke shop? Does the smoke shop have a TV? Put up the put up the stream at the uh, at the smoke shop. <laughs> We'll do we'll do an advertisement for your smoke shop right now. What's the name of it? Oh, 
Oh my god. I don't know who's up there worshipping, but they've transformed into one long piece of taffy. Stretchy boy. Muito stretchito. I can take it. Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. No, not Riften. My carriage. Where do you want to go? White run. Climb and back and we'll be off. Climb and back and we'll be off. Once was a Named Ragnar the Red who came riding to Whiterun from Ororikstead. How long do I plan on streaming? I never really have uh, an exact time that I'm going for when I'm streaming, but definitely for a little bit longer. I want to get a few more things done on this stream. Let's go streaming until dying. I don't know if we'll go that far, because I am not dying. I will survive. I will survive. Hey, hey. Magicka and health debuff? Yeah, because we haven't slept and we're cold still. What are the chances the big iron mine restocked? I want to say they restock every 30 days. We could go check, and if it did, we're in business. It's game over. Go cast your fancy magic someplace else. Never understood the insults for using magic. Do they not realize the world that they are in? The world they exist in? This is a local favorite. Take a seat by the fire. The I enjoy this. Ragnar sure thing. Red. It's yours for. I'll show you to your room. No, you won't. Right Hold up. We always go through this. Let me know. Okay, three hundred and sixty. Okay, I've given her quite a bit of gold. This is insane. I just. I forgot that I had to pay my entire bounty to the. The orcs charged me a thousand. Ridiculous. I got screwed hard there. Stamina, Magicka, Health. I'm gonna go Magicka again. I'm feeling pretty good about the ones that we've picked. I don't have any alternate destruction or restoration. I'm gonna take Alchemist again. Reason being is because when we upgrade our armor, I want to have the strongest blacksmith potion possible when we're able to make one. Every well met, <laughs> Appreciate it, Mark. Thanks for the 100 bits. We'll make sure to give him all the nerner he requires. Wait. I know you. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Yeah, the gold rings are elite. Apologies to everyone for taking so long to start making gold rings and just exclusively gold rings. By far the best. Gotta get some arrows first. It's probably all I need. Arrows are cheap. Have you met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon Breach. No. I don't want to waste any of my steel, so I'll have to use some iron. Father, more ways than people realize. Good morning. 
this one. What's the end game goal? The end game goal is to become a uh, Thane of Falkreath and build a house in Falkreath. But the kind of goal we have right now before then is to reach 50 smithing and craft an upgraded set, a full upgraded set of Nordic carved armor. So we got to make sure that when we level up, we have 50 smithing and we're able to take that perk. So we're going to do some hunting right now. Try to take out as many deer as possible. Catch some leather. Do it in a safe area. I don't really want to get too risky right now. Last thing on my mind is encountering really challenging content. Because we're very close to, you know, kind of finishing out at least the basic part of this challenge to have a video. But I mean, if this character survives, right? Let's say we complete this challenge. I think there's still a lot of compelling content to try and take this character through. What a shot. Make it two in a row. That was a sweet one. And I haven't shot these arrows for a while. So, I mean, that was just instinct. Transmute while we're on our way. I'm surprised there's any elk out here. You'd think they would have migrated by now, given how many of their brothers and sisters have died out here. What is an Iron Man challenge? Check out the link that the command posts, and it'll uh, it'll give you a lot of the background. Actually, I shouldn't kill the fox. I feel like it's bad karma if I kill the fox. Oh, that's right. I said we would check these places out. I kind of want to see if the um, if the ores have respawned. I don't think they would have. We did check that place out really early on on this character, but I don't think that it would have respawned. There's hardly going to be any ore nodes on the surface. We found the vast majority of them. Oh. Be careful, that mud crab chitin's a bit heavy. Compared to all the other ingredients, 0.25, it's hefty. What GPU am I using? I have a 3080, I believe. RTX 3080, I think it's called. I got a pre-built from NZXT about two years ago. Stop moving. Stop moving. Oh. Do it the old fashioned way. Oh, thank you. Finally, an elk is kind and just gives me their soul. He probably killed that wolf. Yep. Take his pelt. 
Wouldn't be bad if we were able to kill a saber cat. They're not the nicest enemy to face, but right now we've done pretty well at killing them. Oh, where do you think you're going? <gasps> Come on. Got him. All right, we're getting there slowly but surely. No, not a stealth archer. Could you use slash have you considered using low level illusion spell spamming to get XP? Well, I haven't found too many illusion spells because I can't buy spells. Let me check what I have. I have clairvoyance. Fair? Where is that big boy? Oh, there he is. I couldn't see him. Not a stealth archer. Shit, it's a cave bear. Look how much health this big boy has. Look at this big chonker. Oh, Jesus, man, they are fast. I got to get his fur, though. So we'll just have to be patient with this one. One big hit, he probably gets close to killing us. Whoa. Nice work, bear. Not you, bear. Me, bear. Grills. Hey, bear. I, I Technically, setting a bear on fire, that's bear grills, right? Huh? Come on, everybody. Laugh at my pun. What is he swinging at? Yeah, he recovers from that super quickly. His stun is not very long. Come on, would you go down already? You're built out of fur. You're a walking fire hazard. Hurry up and just go down. Woo! Hey now! Hey now! Oh my god, I just saw my entire life flash before my eyes. All right, we got him. That was easy. See? Total cakewalk. Actually didn't do as much damage as I thought. But the cave bears are, I think, the highest level bear. Maybe snow bears? How the hell have I not been here? I don't want to underestimate that Draugr back there. Yeah, let's not underestimate him. I want to go for that master chest, though. We could find ore. Actually, there's a good chance we find ore or ingots in that chest compared to other loot. He doesn't look like he's a higher level Draugr. Let's just shoot him just to see. 
Restless, we can take him. Uh, he's got frost. We gotta be careful here. Yeah, frost is gonna destroy our stamina. Alright, we're good. Healing. What a clutch spell to to find at this point in the game. The basic heal spell. Doesn't count. First try, first try on a master lock doesn't count. You know why it doesn't count? Because all I need... <sighs> Did I overcorrect? It's breaking on this one. Ah, yeah! Because <laughs> that's all I need. When you're the greatest of all time, you don't need a lot of help. No, no. All you need is your instinct. All you need. Much love from New Zealand. Thank you, Keyblade. Let's do it again. Let's do that cool thing where everyone in chat lets us know which uh, region of the US they're in or which country they are in. Go. Around the world. Let's do it. Hold on. We got three tangos all in one spot. Target one. Every time this fucking game. Oh my God, how? Right through the wickets every time. There we go. No luck? Oh, you've got to be... And now my bow and arrow broke. It just gave up. I was trying to read the... Colorado, Finland, France, Bulgaria, Arkansas! That it was going to hit him, and then it didn't. Please. I am going to commit a war crime on the plains of Whiterun. Okay. There we go. Australia. You wake up at 5 a.m. to watch you. Don't, oh, don't wake up super early to... Why did I just make 100 gold? Why was I randomly Thank just given... Time, sir. What happened? Keyblade, thank you so much for the tier one. Another one. Come here, fucker. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, Scritch. I don't know what you did there, but you did something. You're here for moral support, and we love you. All right, I totally missed like everyone's messages about where they're from because I really wanted to kill those deer. There's a look, there's a third or a fourth. So apologies. I'm going to have to pause this and scroll up. Run it again. <laughs> All right, yeah, chat, run it one more time. Now that I'm not as distracted, run it one more time. Where are y'all from? Mexico? Awesome. Canada, Russia, Florida, Scotland, Colorado, Texas, Netherlands, Texas, England, Jordan, Finland, Norway, Canada, Virginia, Texas, Midwest, Brazil, Brazil, Delaware, Maine, England, Canada, Czechia, Alberta, bottom of the ocean, England, born in Pennsylvania, another Brazil, Texas again, California, Brazil, Canada, England, Massachusetts, Puerto, Puerto Rico, I didn't take Spanish. 
so I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, North Dakota, Florida, Washington State, Newfoundland, Canada, Germany, Canada. Lots of Canada. Canada is out here. Oh, my gosh. Canada is probably representing the hardest. Germany, Chicago, go Bears. Uh, Arizona, West Virginia, Tennessee, Texas, a lot of Texas. Australia, another Texas. South Carolina, Russia, Wales, Finland, New Hampshire, North Carolina, Miami, Florida, originally from Illinois, Scotland. France, space. Cyrodiil. <laughs> Skyrim is what I imagine rural Canada looks like. Honestly, yeah. Like this area. Is this what Canada looks like? I know this one is just for my own pride chat. I don't know where the bunny went. I lost him. Thought I had him, but I lost him. We're almost at weight limit, so we're going to have to head back to town soon, sadly. Uh, how are we doing, though? We have four leather. Plus nine. All right, isn't deer hide three? Almost 20 leather. That's pretty good. We're at least going to get one smithing level just from the leather. And I forgot that I need to transmute. No iron ore, sadly. This place is going to be empty. It's kind of sad being out here with all the caves nearby empty. You know what has iron that I probably didn't get a lot of, out of is uh, Bleak Falls Barrow. Could also hit North Brittleshin Pass, but that's a bit risky. Most people seem to be pretty nice around here. Well, that's the that's the goal. Usually, if anybody's being a dick, it's usually a high priority to get rid of them <laughs> ASAP. Because they just murder the vibe, you know? Did you clear Bloated Man's Grotto? I think there's a lot of bears in there, so I might have avoided it. Did we discover it? Maybe on another character that did die, because there was one character where we explored down here. <laughs> Not even thinking. I probably should just be adventuring south towards Falkreath. Empty. Damn. The amount of ore veins I'm encountering now that are empty is kind of astounding. I'm never thinking about collecting ore when I play through Skyrim. I just buy it. It's strange playing the game this way. Is this still the second orc? Um, technically the third orc. It's still Bear Grylls. She's doing a great job. Honestly, I think that she has redeemed her death on Soulstein with this run. Whether it's successful or not, I think that she's put in a lot of hard work. She's fought some tough battles. There's been a lot going against her as well. Her own people don't even want to see her succeed. They're throwing ridiculous fines her way. Bullying her. Keeping her down. Wait. I know you. Of course you know me. I'm the famed Elk Slayer. Twenty-four leather. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. We got the gold necklace. Huge. 
All right, we're at 44. God damn it. I'm so lucky. I almost just crafted myself out of having enough steel to build the entire set. That would have driven me nuts. I hate, I hate, 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 hate. More leather. Hey. Forgot I got rid of that. Let me just grab that real quick. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in white. Um, I hate how the menu like resets. So if you're clicking too quickly, you craft stuff you don't want to. See? Boom. Imperial helmet. No. Hide bracers. Hide bracers. Relax. Almost to 46. We're making progress. Man, we're so close. I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick, chat. Damn it, wrong thing. Which one is it? That one. I'll be back in a minute. Can we start counting it? No, don't do that, because it makes chat kind of unreadable when I get back. Yes, I wash my hands. Okay. What the fuck are you guys talking about? My... Ch are you guys theorizing that my chair has balls? No. I had my chair neutered, okay? So that it would stop... Uh, humping the legs of my desk. Who started that? Who started the rumor that my chair has balls? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. <sighs> We're so close, man. We're right there. We just got to push to the end.
All right, I'm going to pay for one more night of rent. And then we're going to move towards Falkreath. Let me know if you want anything. <laughs> Think I got a clip. If it's working, are you joking? You just rented a room. Rent free. Need anything else? Love when we get away with it. Eight AM sharp. We're hitting the road. I've got you a look like someone who can so hold their right We're close to running out of uh it's not easy running out of food though. Dark May, this is your first stream. How are you? Good to see you. We are excited to have you. Did we build a house yet? Not yet, Viking. We're going to move towards Falkreath, though. Um, in the process of getting to 50 smithing, we're just going to move down towards that area and start becoming Thane. I think we should be all right to make some potions and whatnot. And plus, I can't keep harvesting Whiterun. I mean, I have leached this area of everything. They're out of resources. Can I take, wait, can I take the... Oh, if I can take this there, I'm taking it there. I'm sorry. I've walked manually on foot enough throughout this whole fucking run. If I can take a carriage there, I'm taking it. Where do you want to go? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm taking it. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going there. Why didn't I drink with the guy in the end? Because it'll teleport us away. Yeah, this was basically a white run region lock. Hey, did you see a dog? No. Nope. No dogs other than me. Because I am a dog. I was hoping you'd seen it. I've been I've been a dog this whole run. Kicking ass, taking names. Building jewelry. Everyone inside? Oh boy. Welcome to Falkreath. Okay. All right, I see how it is. They got the welcoming committee out. This is kind of cool. Hopefully he drops ore. Yeah, don't shoot me. Shoot the rest of them, though. What is she doing? <laughs> She's just wandering. Whoa, <laughs> get inside, Nari. Run. You're going to have the men around here wrapped around your finger in no time. Yeah, let's survive first, and then we can worry about the men of this town. Also, way to assume, Nari. You don't know which way I swing. Get out of my face. Maybe I can I pull Nari? Hey, baby. A strong drink will chase off that chill in the air. Okay, this is easy. We got this. As long as it just doesn't shoot me and it shoots all the innocent bystanders. Uh-oh. How is this thing not dead? Oh, he got the execution on it. Look at that guy. He's the hero. What a legend. You're a hero, sir. <laughs> he just saved us. By the gods. I don't even know what to say. What the fuck is the Oh no, he's over here. Quick. Everybody run. A guard is so powerful. He teleported him. Okay, I feel cool. Hold on, this is a cool screenshot. Everyone just staring at the dragon's dead body. Look at them all lined up. All right, move along. Nothing to see here. Grow up. Grow up. You never seen a dead dragon before? Gosh, amateurs. We got some of our gold back. Like that a lot. Can't carry any of that. It's too heavy. Oh, 
All right, welcome to your new home, Falkreath. Uh, they don't have a smelter in town, do they? That's the catch here, isn't it? The catch is that they don't have a smelter. Uh, it's always something, isn't it? Why won't I use steel arrows? Because I need the steel to make Nordic carved armor. I have to save it. All right, sir. I got your letter. I know it took me a while to get here, but I promise I'm all business. Yes. What is it that you want? Good to see you. Finally, someone useful is around. I got your letter. I'm Bear Grylls from the show Man vs. Wild. Ah, it's you. Yes, well, now we'll see if the stories about you are true. Uh, There's uh, a group of bandits mm, in my hold that I... Not the ones... Not, have had a few not the first couple with. seasons. I think we had Perfect. a... <laughs> I think we had a hotel first. next to wherever now, I was staying. Now it's time to clean things up. But since Nobody I've moved to cares. Skyrim, everything has been legit. Good. Okay, kill the leader of Bannermist Tower. No I can do this. We just gotta kill some bandits. Nothing I haven't done. I've got a good amount of potions. What do we have in our potion stock? One in magic. Two mag. Okay, let's go make some potions. I have enough healing potions. I should be able to make some magic potions as well. And they're gonna be the best magic potions I've made You're so far. Have the men around here wrapped around your finger in no time. Damn it. Only two. These are really good potions now. Health is increased by 40 for a minute. Restore 62 points of health. Yeah. Okay, now are there any other Restore Magicka potions in here that can go with the Red Mountain Flower? Should be enough. I don't rely on Magicka too heavily in combat, so I think we'll be alright. Uh, am I tired? It's possible I'm tired because we took the carriage here. I'm refreshed. My fatigue is decent. How far away is this quest? Banner Mist Tower. Eh, it's kind of a haul to get over there. By the time I get there, I might be tired. I might spend another night here. I'm running low on food. Damn, I should have been collecting more venison when we were out there. And I don't have salt piles. No, we gotta move quickly. Let's try and get this done as fast as possible. Within reason, of course. We don't want to get ourselves killed. We got plenty of healing. Throw it all on there. Couple of Magicka restores in an emergency. But at the very least... We've at least got our, um, our potions at a really good level. Where we, we make a couple of them and each one's going to be really valuable. Two hundred and eight pounds right now on our weight. A little bit heavier because of the potions. We need to keep an eye out for iron ore though. It's still really important we find it. There's going to be spriggans out here. There's going to be bears. It's going to be a little bit more dangerous. Just got to make sure to be smart. I also have Berserker Rage. So we've got Berserker Rage in the pocket. Definitely going to save that for our objective, though. I think right in front of us are the Spriggan spawns. Spriggans I don't want to mess with. 
Spriggans could end the whole run. In fact, if I had to put money on anything ending the run, it would be on Spriggans because they just, they're sneaky. Catch you off guard. Now it's foggy and scary out here. Can't underestimate the spiders either. Last time we came here, the spiders were souped up. They were on some kind of spider steroid. I don't know. They were phase four MCU spider stuff. No ore. Scritch, you're scaring me, scurrying around. A little pitter patter of his feet. The low hum of his. No, he doesn't growl. I don't know what he's doing. His purr. It's off putting. It's creepy. I don't like being out here. Why did the fog have to set? Why now? Okay, I remember coming here and just about dying when we played on one of our characters. Shit, maybe this is where we did die. I know if we push this way, though, we'll hit the road. Might get jumped by a bandit or two? Yeah. There's a cave out here by the road, and there will be a bandit on the road. Two-handed. There were a few of them. It was like three two-handed demons. We all caught them at once. We ended up just leading them back to town. So if we run into them again, I think I can handle it. But again, I'm not... I'm not playing any games. What is this place? Am I gonna die here? Tell me it's like a high level hag raven or something. Oh, Hunter's Rest. I've been here. This place is safe. And they may have some stuff for me to steal. No, just some Elkide. I'll take the venison though. Clutch. Actually, a nice little, uh, nice little spot. Tower shouldn't be too far. Bring it on. I'm ready. You know, I'm hyping this up like it's going to be some badass fight. And I hope it is. I hope it's a really good fight. But I'm also... Outlaw? Okay, bandit outlaws don't really fuck around. If the rest of them are inside, it's gonna take them a second to get out here. Two-handed demon. He pushed up quick. Berserker rage. Throw that bad boy on. Oh my god, he's a regular bandit. I thought he was gonna be a bandit chief. Oh no, it's a joke. Yeah, bring it on. That's right, I overprepared and trivialized my own challenge. Oh, that's the biggest relief I've ever had. Tell me that's everyone in the tower. I'll be so happy. You know what, the reward is in the trivialization of the challenge because we took the time to prepare properly. I didn't rush in like an idiot like I always do. Now let's just not step on a... Try to avoid stepping on a trap or something. Come on, tell me the big chest has ingots. Ingots, baby. We need ingots. Oh, man, there's no chest? Only a book of riddles? We got screwed, Scritch. <coughs> okay, lockpicking. Woohoo. Maybe there's some salt. On salt pile. Yes. Awesome.
Cool, cool. Salt pile, decent. And now the return trip home. Which I can see myself blowing. I feel like there's going to be a road, though. If I keep heading south... Will we hit the road that takes us to Falkreath? I feel like we should. Here's a path. Yeah, the sword we have is just a basic steel sword. But the skin is beyond sky. Okay. Do I approach this? I wish I had vets so I could just spam it over and over to see if there's an enemy. I am going to search it because I want to take the horse hide. I don't really want the horse meat. Gotta be careful with my stamina. <clears throat> See, now we're tired. That's what I was afraid of. I was afraid of getting here for the fight. Something's going on. I think it's a necromancer. Versus a deer. All three of them are about to attack. That one's dealing frost damage. They've got a bone dog as well. Whoa. Let's cut up and away from them. Oh man, they just killed a deer though and I really want its hide. But I know if I get greedy, that's how I get killed. The second I get greedy is the second I die. Oh fuck, they're right on me. Run, Scritch! They're tailing us! Whoa. Whoa. Back off! They weren't ready for me to make actual viable stamina potions. Turn and burn, baby. Man, y'all are quick. Take him through some awkward rocks. I'm gonna have to try and remember where they were at though because I'd like to get out there and loot that uh, loot that deer. We're gonna need its leather. Bummed we didn't find any iron. Am I too good for horse meat? I've got enough meat. Uh, they're still giving chase. But don't worry, I'll really get on their nerves if I just act like they don't exist. I'll let the townspeople deal with them anyway. Oh, thank you, Hysteria. I didn't get great sleep last night. So, the bags under my eyes are a bit intense. All right. Yes, what is it that you want? I've killed the leader at Banner Miss Tower. I believe you owe me payment. Teach them to stop paying me. Here, you deserve a reward for your service. You know Seven. What? I like you. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in Falkreath Hold. Talk to my steward if you're interested. Wait, that was it? It was that easy? I thought I had to do like three or four more quests. Oh, hell yeah. Come and see me again sometime. I might Yo, Hellbird, are you the guy I gotta talk to? I protect the Jarl. Falkreath's no. cemetery reminds us that war is not new. Who do I talk to? Am I allowed to just take shit? <gasps> I can. They're friendly with me now. I can take whatever I want. Well, within reason, I can take whatever I want. We're back up to the gold that we had. Scritch, please get out of the way. Scritch, please. Scritch, please get out of the doorway. Thank you, Scritch. 
getting on my nerves, buddy. Sid Gear can sometimes act too quickly, but he does listen to Helvert and I. There's no house available, but I could sell you a fine piece of land where you could build your own house. Oh my god, we're finally having the discussion. We're actually there. We can have the discussion now. We just need to raise 2,000 gold. May wisdom forever light your path. And of course, get to level 50 smithing, which we're right there. We're so close. We are, we're on the cusp of it. So now I need to make 2,000 gold. Okay, there's some ruins right up north. We're getting there. Do you need to build a basic house or a fully upgraded one? We'll see. We'll see what point we get to and we'll play it by ear. Oh, the steward. Yeah, let's talk to the steward for another quest. I gotta get to sleep soon, though. Or before I leave. All right, ma'am. While I'm here in town, I might as well help you all out. I serve under Jarl Sidgir and Jarl Dengir before him. Sidgir can sometimes act too quick. The Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. Kill the bandit. Bile Gulch. It's a mine. Traveler. This is it. Bile Gulch mine. We clear this place out. We're going to have more than enough materials to craft our way. Well, I mean, probably not more than enough, but we're going to be very close to hitting level 50. Right. We'll be right there. How far away is it? All right, I am tracking. Oh man, it's a journey. It's far. We're almost there though. Come on in. I can't see, how long have we been live chat? Does it show you? I don't think I have an uptime command, but it should just show you on the stream. Welcome to Ted. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. There's no way. We've been live for four and a half hours. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Get the fuck out of here. We've been live for four and a half hours. What? Oh, well, can I just say, while we have some downtime here, uh, this has honestly been uh, a really exhausting challenge, but you guys have made it a ton of fun. You're going to Th thank you all, seriously, for just hanging out and making it much more fun, asking questions or making jokes and saying really strange things like, oh my god, his chair, his chair has balls. Like, <laughs> as strange as it is, it's weird shit like that that makes this entertaining to keep going. I am having fun, though, at the end of the day. Don't get me wrong. I'm enjoying this. I'm having a good time. I think this is a pretty fun way to play the game. I need to go back there and cook. Come on in. Let me know is this American Jabo? Sure, yeah. Oh, I can't cook in here. You know what? We'll cook at the hunter's rest stop. We cook at the hunter's rest stop, which is on the way. I'm going to try to take the same route there. We got to watch out for those punks. Ooh. Time out. Before we leave, I found some Mora Tapanella. I just want to make sure we have all the necessary requirements. Let's get some resist magic. Now it's at 10%, so it's decent. 
had made. Resist fire. That could be useful. He went quiet, did Ragnar the Red, when he met the shield maiden Matilda, who said... All right, we. Oh, should I take my level? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna take my level up, but I'm not gonna spend the perk until we have 50 smithing. It's worth it to take it just for the buff. Where are we at? 213 pounds. Health. Yeah, we're gonna go health 160. Okay, chat. I don't know how difficult that this dungeon is going to be. Plan on burning everything but I plan on kicking fucking ass when I get there. I plan on kicking ass the whole way there. What do we got for our sword? How much damage are we even dealing right now? 16? That's really not that much. I need to improve my main weapon a lot. The one-handed damage perks aren't doing it. <clears throat> I need to learn row. That would be nice if I had the full shout, but I do feel like the full unrelenting force shout. Well, I guess row doesn't make it super OP, but when you have Fruce Row Da, I feel like it's so good, it can become a crutch. And I mean, I've certainly had, I already have Berserker Rage, which is kind of my crutch ability. Do I have that right now? No, I don't. I'm not gonna have it until later in the day. So we might have to tactically wait for five or six hours when we get to this dungeon. It's probably what I'm gonna do. Just stand there, not moving for six hours. Hunter's rest, yeah, we'll go up this way. I think the last time we came here, we cut up this way, cut through, and then we hooked a Larry right at the road. Mora Tapanella. I love Mora Tapanella. I think it's my favorite mushroom. I'm ready to make that call. If we were gonna tier list all the mushrooms in Skyrim, I think Mora Tapanella is number one. It's gotta be for me. Um, also, just so you guys know, no stream tomorrow. Tomorrow is kind of my big day where I'll really start bearing down and trying to tell the story of at least the first few streams. It's going to be a long, it's going to be a big project, but I'm going to try and have this video done by, I would think, next Friday. This is going to be a bit of a unique one because it's not nearly as, like, action, action, action as orphaning you know a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of children <laughs> but uh oh baby yes gotta take it when we can every single piece of iron we find is huge Mm, this cave, if we're close to level 50. That is a lot of blood. Oh my god, wait, you're still alive, dude? You! Over here! Here! Dude, I have a million potions. Please just take one. Name's Valder. We tracked a bear spring. I may have lost a drop or two of blood. I just need a little There you go, here. Take my cheapest one. Much better. Thanks, friend. But now what? I can't just walk away, not with my friend's bodies in there being torn up. You'd do that for a stranger? I don't know what to say. Lead on, I suppose. I mean, I would, I'm definitely going to use you as a meat bag. Are we... 
Oh, well, I'm not I'm not taking you to my next quest. We can't do that. So I guess we're going to fight some bears. Two to three Spurgans, one bear. No. I'm smarter than that. I told you all I'm not playing stupid. I will fight temptation to be a good person right now. I know I'm on my good guy arc. Oh man, but I feel like if I abandon him and I don't help him, Karma's gonna come back and kill me. Remember the farmers? You're right, I can't be a hero. If I try to do it all, you know, jack of all, master of none. We gotta get to the mine. I hate being in this forest. Not knowing like what's behind the next tree, if I'm going in the right direction. I forgot to stop at the hunter's rest. It's because I ran into that one ore vein. I see one little thing of ore. My brain just forgets what my current objective is. Gotta get the ore. I'm even seeing ore veins where there aren't any. I can see one little patch of rock. <gasps> nope. Okay, it looks like we're here. Oh, great. I got to awkwardly rock climb my way up there. Can you bandits make the, your entrances more convenient or something? Like, why is it always got to be this bullshit? Boss, I found the perfect place to build our base. Hmm, is it easily accessible via road? No. In fact, it's awful. Wait. Hold on. Wait, the, the, way I, the way I describe that for a bunch of bandits hiding out makes it sound like a really smart choice. Gorlis, you saw my videos on YouTube? Well, thank you for watching them. And double thank you if you enjoyed them. Great, now we got to run all the way around. Let me check one thing real quick. Oh no, more than triple. If they liked, subscribed, and hit the notification, quadruple. Thank you. Okay, it's along this side. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so it is easily accessible via road. It's a mine. Okay, with that wooden wall set up, there are definitely going to be a few of them outside. Can I get a tactical camera view, please? Or something? Can I get that one bird from the new Assassin's Creed games that just acts like radar? One at a time. Two-handed demon. Nice try. I'm so sick of your shit. That's how I feel about you. Nice and easy. And you have ore right next to you. <laughs> Sly Panda, don't be rude. Be nice. Shells only in chat. That's all right. If people are rude, they can't get to me. Believe me, I'm my harshest critic. All right, here we go. Final boss battle for now until another one shows up. I don't see any mages. 
I hear footsteps, but they're not really pushing. What's their plan? What are you putting together up there, huh? You guys game planning? Well, joke's on you. I think so little of your combat experience, I'm gonna pick this lock right in front of your faces. All right, bitch. Bandit thug? Okay, we gotta be careful. I missed it. This is gonna hit me. Oh, it missed! <laughs> oh my gosh, it missed. I thought I was due to just take a big hit right there. But yeah, Bandit Thug can deal some damage, especially with that two-handed. Is it two Bandit Thugs? Bandit Outlaw and a Bandit Thug. Okay, so two kind of tough enemies. Look at that. Look at that hit. They don't really have very much ranged capability. So let's save a potion, bring them down. Keep tagging them with flames. Almost got myself killed there. There we go, we gotta stumble. Two? See ya. Later! Okay, good start. Somewhat stress-free. They were a little bit more difficult than I thought they would be, but we got through it. If I had a better weapon, right? Because at this point, I definitely could have looted something way better than steel. But unenchanted, upgraded once a long time ago, we upgraded it. Yeah, our weapon could definitely use an upgrade. Keep looting gold. How close are we? 32, 82? We need about 1700, probably closer to 2500 gold. If you account for the rent, we'll probably have to pay. All right. Ooh, or a calcum mine? There's the chief. You are right. It's a pretty confined space. That's an orcish axe as well, and it's enchanted. Shit. Okay, we're going to game plan just a little bit. Get me out of here. I got to think through it. Okay, so Bandit Chief, he's got an orcish axe. So the last guy had steel and was still doing really good damage. This guy's gonna do passively more damage even if he had the same weapon. And he's gonna do more damage because it's a better axe. And he's gonna do frost damage because it's a frozen axe. It's enchanted with frost if you saw it light up blue. So that's gonna slow us down a bit. Uh, <laughs> this guy's actually tough. All right. We love drama, don't we? Good thing I made my resist fire potion. Chat, I'm glad you reminded me. Let's hit the bedroll. Let's give it five hours. We wake up refreshed. Get a bite to eat. Potato soup. Oh, come on, we're chilly? Now we got Berserker Rage. Yeah. I just had to warm up real quick. Literally the best way to warm up, just jump directly into the fire. Okay. Berserker Rage on. Unrelenting Force back on. Let's go sneak just so he doesn't aggro immediately. This is it. Okay. <laughs> okay, never mind. He saw us right away. And I missed with my shout. He's gonna hit a second attack right here. Oh my god, really? He's already hitting a power attack? Dude, you gotta relax. Can 
There we go. Now we got to stumble. Stumble. Keep stumbling. Keep falling back. He's going to hit another power attack. That's okay. Let's let him hit it. We'll heal back up. Stumble, bitch. Stumble, bitch. What's up? My cave. Back off. I'm done. I'm tired of this. Two-handed demon, my ass. Oh, that was really close. I'm shaking. I'm actually shaking. That was really, really close. And I gave myself probably like the worst odds of beating that fight. Oh, man. <laughs> that was bad. I had myself confined. My shout was useless. Um, I lose that fight without Berserker Rage. Straight up. I easily lose that fight without Berserker Rage. So all the damage I was taking there, you have to double it. You have to double it. But we made it. I, honestly, I care about nothing else right now. I don't care about making sure that the fight looked funny or it was crazy, you know, crazy, zany, wacky adventures. We did it. We accomplished it. It wasn't anything flashy or crazy, but we beat him. Oh my God, I'm so glad I left. You guys have no clue how close I was to just engaging. When I first came into the cave and I saw him and we were in this hallway, I was so close to just going forward and fighting him. And then when I noticed he has an orcish uh, battle axe and that it was enchanted, I was like, oh my God, I gotta leave. I'm out. Oh God, we're finding glass weapons now. Is there more ore in here? I hope there's more. Come on. There's gotta be more in here. Smithing? Oh my God, a free level up. This is huge. This cave is massive. More aura calcum. If I can get two level ups, it might be worth it to get the aura calcum perk because then I can make an orcish sword. And I would love to make one upgraded as well. It'll be a huge buff. We're right now we are carrying in our backpack so much like so much crafting material stuff that's going to like double our armor, double our damage output. Basically, Berserker Rage Thank is the power sir. level we'll be at after we upgrade everything. Totally not recon. Thank you so much for the prime. We've already been to Lunar Forge. Lunar Forge is one of the earliest places we go on this run. Invest in a better sword? I should. Armor is the number one thing I'm thinking of right now, but I should invest in a sword. Sapphire is huge. Now that we found Sapphire, we can probably make some better gold jewelry. Although I think I spent all my gold. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't care. <laughs> oh, we completed that quest. That was stressful. I had to, though. I needed to get more mining material. Have I ever played Far Cry Primal? I haven't. You've played them all and Primal is your favorite. The only one I've actually beat was three. And three was awesome. I always loved the healing animation in three. Like you take a ton of falling damage and you're able to heal yourself by just like popping your thumb. Twenty five ore. Mm. Mm. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I missed an ore. Am I allowed to duplicate items in this run? No. Stone quarry. OK, mark this place down because we might need to come here when it comes to building the house. Bio gulch mine. No, we won't we won't do any of the looping exploits or anything like that. I'm not uh well we also don't have enchanting. Enchanting is nerfed. 
extremely in this run. Certainly possible for, you know, a casual run where you're doing a lot of quests. That's what I've really enjoyed. That's what I think I've enjoyed the most about this run is it makes completing a quest way more rewarding, right? Like in a normal Skyrim playthrough, yeah, maybe you get an enchanted item, you'll sell it, maybe you get some gold. But in this playthrough, the way we've been doing it, every quest that we've completed has been like, hell yes. You know, 700 gold, oh my gosh. For our gold, that's huge. Or we get one enchanted item from a quest, like, oh my God. I've only ever gotten one enchanted item the whole time on the like requirements we've allowed. It's made completing quests way more fun. Oh, it's, an, it's not a competition. Skyrim is nice. I love that name. It's not a competition. I'm always excited when anyone is playing Skyrim or making Skyrim content. What are you fucking talking about? Just shut the fuck up. Fuck's that about? Keep, whoa, you're gonna threaten me? You serious, dude? I'm wandering back to town. I just cleared out a bandit threat. What the fuck did you losers do? Oh my gosh, that actually made me angry. That made me mad. <laughs> oh my God, what the fuck is, what are you, what? What's, uh, what run is Doug doing? Is, uh, I think he's done with the randomizer. <clears throat> um, the world randomizer. Skyrim speedrun, but every NPC spawns a cheese every second. His game's gonna crash so quickly. <laughs> well, I'll send you guys over there when we're, oh, oh that's a spriggan. Nope. Nope, I will fight every difficult bandit in the book. I'm not fighting a Spriggan. The only reason I don't want to fight a Spriggan and why I'm more afraid of them is because there's too many variables. Like when it comes to fighting a bandit, I know what their power attacks look like. I know what their move set looks like. I know how to stun them. I know how to, you know, lock them and counter them. I know the bandits really well and I know when the bandits are gonna kill me. But the thing with the Spriggan is sometimes they just have spells that they hit you once with it, and if you don't have the proper counter to that spell, or you don't have the potion on you, or resistance is built in, whatever it may be, they'll crush you. Whoa. It's how we died in Soul's time as much as we did. What is my opinion of Sugar Ray? One of my favorite all time ever summer bands ever like i'm talking everybody has like music that they hear when you think of uh it's the first 75 degree plus weather day of the year and you're driving with your windows down and you're going to your friend's place to share a beer sugar ray that's my band for that i like the strategy of this deer he's trying a completely new approach to surviving my attacks but it's not gonna work unfortunately buddy i'm sorry Damn it, I passed Hunter's Rest. We gotta be able to cook food soon. Iron ore, iron ore. Mine with me, it's not a bore. Mmm, mmm, mmm. We eating good. We are eating. Nope. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. Not fucking with it. Around 18, Spriggans can spawn as Spriggan matrons for more than double health. Oh, nice. I'm almost level 18. <laughs>
If you don't kiss your homies on the lips while listening to Sugar Ray, are you really homies? I believe if you have somebody in your life who you support in the things that they do and they support you in the things that you do, provided that they don't harm anyone else, of course, then that is a friend. A friend is someone who just is there for you and they got your back. That's what a friend is. There's really no other requirements. There's no timelines or deadlines. You could go three to four years without speaking to somebody. And then you find out they had something cool in their life happen. And you reach out and you say, dude, that's awesome. And then you don't talk to each other for a while. At least that's how it is for some of my friends. I don't see them very often. There are, there are no requirements like listening to Sugar Ray, though. <laughs> you certainly don't have to kiss them. I mean, if you want to kiss them, you, you're absolutely more than welcome to. Shit, we're overweight? Come on. All right, so if we check into... We check into the smithing tree. Yeah, Orcish is right here. No? Oh my gosh, it's one... It's at 50? Shit. I was thinking I could just buy one perk and go from there. Okay, we can burn some white. I know how to burn some white. We'll just go back to doing the hide bracers. Come on, it's so close. I like doing the hide bracers though because I have an abundance of, uh, of leather strips. But I need a smelter. I forgot that. I don't think they have a smelter in this town. Does anyone know where the nearest smelter is? Morrowind Chad guy, thank you for stopping in. Yeah, th there's Dwarven, and I remember people suggesting earlier that we could go into Dwemer Dungeons you know, to do dwarven smithing, but those dungeons are always really dangerous. <laughs> and I do want to beat this challenge. Like my goal is I wanted to play this smart and actually beat the challenge, but I also don't want to play it like a speed runner and be so super optimal that we completely avoid any stress or danger. If that makes any sense. Like I still want it to be relatively normal or what I consider peak Skyrim gameplay because speedruns are cool and breaking game engines is awesome but it's not really playing the game like you're not playing Skyrim you're speedrunning Skyrim if that makes any sense at all an orc stronghold nearby oh my god is there one at Bile Gulch Ma there is <laughs> There is. There's a smelter at Bile Gulch Mine. What is wrong with me? I should have smelted them all into ingots prior. Now I'm holding all this useful crap. Okay. Either way, we had a huge victory. We're really close to our goals. We're almost at the 11 hour mark. Dawn Guard. Vampire Hunters or something. We're this close we're super super close but uh that's gonna be all for me today i appreciate you all i'm a little bit tired i'm gonna take a little bit of time off take the rest of the day off before i get into editing tomorrow and writing tomorrow's gonna be a pain uh thank you everybody for all the subscriptions, everybody who subscribed, I think my activity feed on Twitch actually kind of broke. So I don't see a lot of the recent ones or I can't do a recap of the ones. I'm going to send you guys over to Doug's stream, though. 
A Dark Brotherhood speedrun. Okay, so he's doing the Dark Brotherhood, but every NPC spawns a cheese wheel every second. Remember when you go over to Doug's stream to be respectful, be kind, don't be a dickhead, because one of my mods will see or one of his mods will see. Don't do that. Be kind. You know, talk about relevant things that are happening. Um, that's it. Appreciate y'all. Have a good night. I will talk to you on what? What is today? Today's Thursday. So I'll probably see you Saturday. We'll probably finish up this challenge on Saturday. We'll do a long stream Saturday, finish up the challenge, and that gives me six days to finish the whole video. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right. We'll talk soon. I appreciate y'all.